Yeah, 
Ant-Man might win a $4,000 side pod with eight You're high. Right. If it's Ace of Five Pairs the board. Oh my gosh. And Ant-Man's going to win the side pod with eight high. All in. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah. And then immediately acting, and they, they already... Another good pull. So you definitely want to target just full colors with his quads as a quite a decent frequency at the time. And he does Ooh. fall. Put him to show the quads. <laughs> and then he ate. And then Ace hits the river. Oh, that's not good. And I feel, uh, but no, uh, yeah, it does fold. Buddy, welcome to Rounders tonight. We've got a great game for you tonight. Tonight we'll be bringing you a 5-5 game. It's no limit hold'em. We've got a cast of characters that are that we've seen here previously and a couple of new faces. And before we get started, I'd like to welcome Drew to the booth. What's up, Drew? My man, Rudy. It feels good to be back, man. Wow, what a whirlwind trip, huh? Yeah, it's been it's been a uh, very busy week for me. Yeah? Just, just getting back from the Bahamas, but excited to watch some poker tonight and just hang out with you. Tough gig, huh? Going all the way down to the Bahamas, the perfect perfect weather, perfect setting, you know, the beach life. Oh, man, honestly, I didn't, I didn't take advantage of being in the Bahamas, I don't think. No? Enough, but yeah. I, was, I was just in the poker playing mood. So I could have been going to the beach, I could have been doing some other things, but I was like, you know what? Yeah. I feel like playing, except I did cut myself off the last day. I was like, okay, this is, I have to at least experience it. So you went down there, you were really fully engaged, you were working. Yeah. But what a good setting, huh? What a nice place to work. Yeah, it was pretty sick, the uh, experience there. That was uh, three years in the making, that experience for me. Yeah, I can't imagine. You were just you earned the right to go, you won a seat, and then COVID happened and had to wait three years. Yeah. What a delay. And yeah. The anticipation that built up with that must have been mm -hmm. just enormous. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. There was a lot of, uh, I was going in with high hopes, you know, playing my first 25K buy, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just ship this. It's, it's meant to be, right? Three years in the waiting. Hey, why not you? Yeah, like, come on, how not? Mm -hmm. I did not make day two. That's okay, though. <laughs> yeah. You played several other tournaments while you were there, right? Yeah. Awesome. It was a whole series of yeah. events. I played a uh, 1K, a 2K uh -huh. uh, when I was there. I played a $300 event as well. But, yeah. yeah. Open, what about ca homes. how was the cash games? Were cash games any I, good? I, I didn't play any cash Stayed games. Stayed away from the cash tables? Stayed away from the cash tables, yep. Did not play any of those. Uh, just I'm mostly just a tournament junkie, honestly, mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, not too much cash That's for what me. you were there for. Okay. Yeah, but we had uh, last stream, Big O stream. The Big O stream, yeah. Did you? Uh, what did you think of that? It was kind of interesting, huh? I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was fun to listen in to an experienced Big O player talk yeah. about the game, uh, yeah, like Greg did. And I know that you play Big O. I do. I dabble. We'll say that I'm a five card dabbler. So, uh, so I understood it was really it was really cool because he's on another level. Obviously, I mean he's written multiple books, so it was good to have him here and ha listen to his observations and then have the opportunity to ask questions in real time. Yeah, you know, as things are coming up. Yeah, that was really cool too. And then it was really neat to see the engagement from the chat, people in chat that they were asking questions, and uh, you know, this was something that we don't do very often. We don't have big old big old games very often. Yeah, but I thought that was really cool, and uh, I know a lot of people enjoyed it. I got a couple of messages about it, so, you know, we'll definitely have to do that again. I think uh, maybe PLO stream next. PLO stream, yeah, sounds good. It seems to be it seems to be gaining in popularity, you know, in the area and in our card room specifically. So I think, yeah, I think that'll be, that's always a good, you know, pretty good action. 
Yeah, Anytime you have these pot limit games, it tends to uh, really, you know, fire up the action. But you know what? Speaking of action, this table right here, I'm expecting oh, some, yeah. some fun stuff, some fireworks to be going off tonight. I do know that they've decided to uh, play a bomb pot, a uh, $15 bomb pot, double board bomb pot, every 30 minutes. Yep. So... So we got uh, some familiar faces here. We got Yu Chan. We got Rory both buying in for the Max. Yep. BDC Big Daddy Chaz, of course, buying in for the Max. <laughs> we got Bobby in C4 coming in for a little over 1,000. We got stream regular here. We got <coughs> Mr. Jacob coming in for 1,700. We got Jesse Solano here, seat 7, coming in for 2,500. We have J1. Seat eight, twenty five hundred bucks, and we got your man John George. Seat nine, coming in for twenty five hundred. So we got a nice amount of money on the table. Blinds are five five. They're going to be doing some PLO bomb pots, and uh, this is a cast of characters where I think I mean, we can expect I'll, I'll an action packed night for sure. Yeah, I think this is a this is looks like a good lineup. I expect some action as well from these guys. Um, now these guys are really like you talked about. What your focus is mostly tournament. These guys are really. They're really cash crushers. Oh, yeah, 100%. They, they really put the time in the, on the cash tables. And a couple of them, you know, will jump in, and they'll, they'll do well. Uh, they, they can figure their way out and navigate through a tournament field as well, but really their focus is cash. Yeah, I've, I've learned a lot from watching these guys and even just being more in touch with the cash game scene, especially live cash games than I have in the past. Uh, yeah, definitely learning a lot from these guys. I love watching them. You never know what you're going to expect or what you can see from Chaz. Chaz plays a bunch of these streams, so he plays a style where he keeps you guessing. Yeah, that's, that's right. You know, you, you think of Chaz being on the table and you expect action and, you know, high VP. But, you know... He doesn't have to only, that's not his only, he's got different gears. He can go different different modes. However, I'm going to tell you something. Oh. I got a little tell on Chaz right now. Oh, boy. He's got a stack of purple chips behind him on the table. <laughs> 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 All right. It looks like we're right into the, our, to our first bomb pot. This is our first hand of the night. Got a paired board on top with two diamonds and two hearts on the bottom board. It wasn't me. Let's see if we can get some hands. Oh, look at Roar, uh, Bobby. Bobby starts off with a I'm down. with eights full of nines <laughs> right away. Queen high <laughs> flush draw <laughs> for John George. I, can't, can't I would be sad, boy. Hey, what if you don't, by the way? Oh. Open ended for G1. What happened? So your board happened. Oh. Jesse's got trip eight. Oh, okay, now we got nines full. Anybody got a nine? Nines full of eights. Oh, Bobby. Bobby's got the nine. All the nines are dead. Yeah. What do we have on the top board? You see anything? Ace four. So many like cards. That. Rory's got an ace. So Rory's got an ace up top. He's got the best. I don't see a fours full. So I think looks like Rory's got the top board. As we're looking at it, it's the bottom board with the aces. And then uh, the nine, Bobby's got a boat on bottom. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody really has too much Jesse, here. Jesse, however, Jesse did call. Jesse called with trip oh, eights. No, he's got a full house. Jesse's got uh, eights full of kings. Full kings. Yeah, he's got the... He's going to lose to the nines full of eights, though. 98. He's going to punish Jesse right off the, right off the bat. Yep. Action pack first hand. There's a pair, pair of nines in the bottom and nine, nine full of eights. Get fucked, guys. <laughs> so, you guys were out there, I was like, come on. All right. So Bobby's going to take half. I don't know if the trip aces stayed in or, or not. So he may have scooped it, in fact. It might have been a scooper. might have been a scooper. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for tuning in tonight, everybody. If you are enjoying the stream, you are a regular here, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Smash it. What's up, Nick Devia? Says, it's going great tonight. How are you doing? We are doing good. I'm freshly back from a nice little vacation. 
This is my first time in the club since I got back, and you know I'm here in the booth with uh, Rudy. We got an action-packed game tonight, and I'm just gonna relax, talk some poker. And maybe we'll tell some poker stories. We'll see. Yeah, but we're gonna see what see what comes up. What they what they're spilling on the table, we can maybe pick up. I see over on Twitch, I'm losing it for you, and A M T T. Hello, hello. Good luck. Good luck. They switched the five card. I left early. Well, I left about three. I left at six thirty. He was giving me updates on you guys uh, online. Hmm? All right, so uh, it looks like we are just getting set up here for the uh, next hand incoming. Which part? I know he's like, you should fucking slow roll when we do. I know he's fucking slow roll when we do. hit a dollar left. And as you guys get a chance to make a Oh, yeah, I was up to me out tremendously. What do you want? Player story. So, yeah, if you are in uh, yeah, the uh, San Antonio area, we have a big tournament coming up in about a week. $400 buy-in, 200k guaranteed. Yes. The Poker Masters here at Rounders Card Club, 2023 Poker Masters. It's a nice trophy with an eagle on it. I fully plan on doing whatever I can to win that trophy. You gonna take that home? Put that on your mantle? I hope so. Uh, 200, you got it. <laughs> We're running it. Uh, here we go. Chaz getting involved early. Not even fully set up yet. He's flat. still got his. So this is a Ooh. racked chips Ooh. game for Chaz oh, today. Oh, yeah, dude. The future boners? Hell <laughs> yeah, dude. Good love those. Living life hard. <laughs> Let's see uh, looks, seven for a uh, sweat. Did, it looks like Bobby raised to 200. Some straddles out there. Chaz just calls the King Jack. Oh, they showed one card each. Oh, that's fast. Thank Ooh. you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that That'd is a good start. Nice Which thing. one? It looks like uh, Bobby showed the eight. Uh, okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> ah. King Jack's going to be good. Oh, no, a four. Yeah. Bobby's got a four. Bobby's got a four. Stuff. Going that's going to work. Yeah. Rest got him. Good start. Okay. Nice little four hundred dollar pot in the hold'em. Nice little uh, Chaparuski in the PLO bomb pot. Yeah, there's the. You see, there there are the purple chips I was referring to on Chad's uh, little tray table, little side table. I I expect him to be a little bit active tonight. Chad's brought ammo. He'll be splashing. Sure. Love to see it. Yep. So, Rudy, you're going on a trip here soon. You're gonna be uh, taking vacation. Yeah, little, I'm gonna. Pleasure. I'm gonna head out to Vegas mm -hmm. and uh, go for the circuit event. Nice. You know, there's a no senior event early. that that, uh, you know, that I qualify so for. I know, surprising, <laughs> right? Yeah, very surprising <laughs> actually. If you guys were, were to see Rudy, you would not believe it. That's not true. Yeah, so uh, there's about uh, three or four events that I want to play in. So I think thought it'd be a good time to just sneak it? off. Nice. For a bit. <laughs> so we got a raise from John George to, to 50 here. Yuchan calls with the eights. Yuchan calls from the cutoff. You surprised he just called there in position? I think uh, it's early. I think it's early. I could see a re raise or a flat just yeah, by position. Yeah, and he's got the catfish platter on, on the side too, so he's That's working true. on that. That is true. That <laughs> does come into that. play. Yep. Oh, okay. Jacob with the King Jack of Hearts. A nice hand to see a flop with. Hmm. Huh. Jacob Daddy. likes that flop. Not sure about anyone else. Jacob is first. It does not look like anyone is interested. This is great for Jacob. Jacob does not mind seeing a free card with his open ended straight draw. 160 in the pot. Let's see what he brings. He's definitely betting. Looks like about 70. John George folded the only club, and Yuchan, no club, just the bottom end of the straight. He's going to let it go, and uh, Jacob's going to take down a pot there. <laughs> Jacob's on the board with his first pot of the night. You, you guys can see here uh, Yuchan and Rory getting some food in early. I was, I was just looking at, thinking about that, too. It's funny. These young guys are just kind of 
in there trying to get some uh, sustenance, you know, for the fight, for the battle. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. They're just fueling up. They're, re they're ready to get it in tonight. And Rounders just recently, this year, at the start of this year, changed their menu. Mm -hmm. They've updated it. So I still haven't even been able to get through all of it. Yeah, it was a great menu before. They've um, got r gotten rid of some of the some of the ones that maybe didn't sell as much. They've brought some new items on the menu. Yeah, it's a really nice, extensive uh, selection of yep. items there. We get a nice hand here for J1. Ace Queen raising it up to twenty. Jacob calls in the big blind with the Ace Five offsuit. My bad. In queen five, two hearts, <coughs> excuse me, uh, G1's going to sprinkle out this little third pot bet. About what? Good? Just enough to keep Jacob interested. I've been struggling with finding a beat lately. Jacob connected as well. But beat was really good there. That's an interesting card. That queen pairs the board. Let's Jacob. See. Yeah, let's see, if, let's see if J1 gets tricky. He decides not to. What do you think? You ever check there on the turn with the queen? Or do you like betting it? It is a cash game. Remember, I, I have mm. tournament instincts. I have to, I yeah. have to <clears throat> remind myself. This is a cash game. We want to build up pots, right? I feel like in that situation, since he's in position, if he had, whether he had a king or a queen, or, or if he, let's say he didn't have a king or a queen, you're probably going to want to bet there to try to take down the pot anyway, right? So we want to kind of balance what we're doing when we have a hand and when we don't. You agree? Yeah, yeah, for sure. There might be some queens that uh, they may check back the flop because they did bet the flop, but he had the, the best queen that he could have there. So there are even – no one's going to be folding a queen jack or a queen 10 or a queen 9. Jack 10, there's a lot of worse hands that can call, even though uh, J1 did not have top pair. So I like both bets. Yeah, in that case, he's just value betting. He did have a very good queen. Yeah. Seems pretty normal on Jacob's side as well. Call one when you hit the pair. It was a small little, just a tiny little sprinkle, yep. you know. Nothing wrong with some sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, you pick up enough sprinkles, it turns into something nice. For sure, so instead. <laughs> What's up there, Ship It 210? Watching well, us from Twitch, asking about uh, some merch stuff there. So we got you a link in the chat there, buddy. Shout out to everybody hanging out with us on Twitch. And, of course, YouTube. Yeah. For Mr. Jesse, dude. Why am I calling you Mr. Jesse? <laughs> Is that a thing now or what? You're in that respect. I mean, we'll see. Premium. Give, give me some money. Wait, Chaz. Is, is that your stream right now on the stream or what? Pocket sixes no, is, is going to oh, oh, take it down. Like, yep, nice pot Chaz. there. Of course, there's Sorry. some straddles out there. In case you're wondering how he's <laughs> raising and these pots are so big. Wait, why is he uh, you might be new yeah. popping into the stream. Uh, there have been straddles. All the hands so far, so that's why you're seeing, why is Chaz raising to 200? Why was it raised to 200 and Chaz is blind calling? Uh, with He only saw a king, I think, two hands ago. But, yeah, pocket mm -hmm. sixes, not necessarily going to play the best multi-way post-flop. So he decides to make a big <coughs> raise there, a lot of dead money out in the middle. Right, right. Can get heads up, take it down then, or just take it down pre-flop. This is a 5-5 five -five game. Um, I don't believe they're, they've... Uh, have mandatory straddles, but like you mentioned, I think they're they are straddling. They have straddled every every hand. Like if they change the game, maybe we'll. Yeah, we see Rory's like? got forty up front here already. So before like the action that. even gets to Bobby, he's got to act on the forty versus the five five. So that sounds like it's a, we got a triple straddle working: the five five, the ten, twenty, and then forty. Ooh, J has got a big hand here. Ace King makes it one twenty. Yuchao makes the call with the seven six off suit from the from the first straddle. Rory is in there as well. So if the board comes low, does not. Yuchao and Rory might have had a shot here, but kind of a big miss. I anticipate uh, J Wan's going to want to throw out a bet here. Hopefully, take it down, and he mm, he checks. He checks the board, the paired board. Ops the check. Let's see if Rory wants to take a stab. Doesn't have too much here. Third diamond on the board. None of the three players in this hand have a diamond in their hand. This might be one of those situations where whoever wants it the most is going to get it. Whoever bets first, or are we looking for a diamond? Finds none. Broadway for J1. 
It's a good feeling. It's nice to see it come in, but unfortunately in this situation, he's just not going to get any action. Yeah. There's the list right there. Also, oh, if someone were to to jam him, not jam, no one's going to jam, but if they were to raise him, he'd be in a, it'd be a weird spot, right? Yeah. Paired board and the flush out there. Yeah, it, it's it'd definitely be a real, really good. Real weird probably want to eat his hat. They, uh, <laughs> they got some bench guys. Oh, what a pass. They got some bench guys that have a lot of potential. They're going to get to play now. I mean, the whole time, I think they play enough defense. I think we ought to send a hat out there for to John George. You know, it's funny. I saw a picture of John George from the South Texas Poker Championships uh -huh. the other day, yeah. and he had no hair. He had no hair? Yeah, and I, I didn't even recognize him at first. Oh, he had real, real it, short hair. It was real short hair. He, he had it pretty much buzzed. And I was like, wait a second, is that John George? But yeah, he's growing the hair out. Maybe he just hasn't found a barber since he's been out, or, or a hairstylist. Could be a thing. <laughs> Very likely for poker players to be a thing. <laughs> like, like, I think last week the Bucks were 150. I think the Bucks were 150 something. You chum, uh, right, ace queen off go. suit. Uh, yeah, under the day, gun, he's going to raise it. <laughs> Big raise at 200. There's 60 in there before it got to him. Rory's so like, oh, got a suit of connectors. He, he, he would like nothing more than to bust his friend. <laughs> These guys really, they're, they enjoy each other's company. Oh, so he three bets him to 600. They enjoy each other's company. They're always hanging out, playing golf together, hitting the golf simulator, playing poker. But man, I'll tell you, when they're on the table. Well, you have to make, if you're not going 120, it's. It's show, bi it's show business, not show friends, right? <laughs> show right. business on the table. Show business. Show business. Oh, look at this. A four bet from you, John. He's out of position. He doesn't necessarily want to just... Are you saying when Tyree starts playing? Yes. This is a pretty sick four bet because Rory's not getting bad odds. He's got a hand that can flop well. That's folding formation, I think. I don't know. He's he hasn't. I don't think he's made a decision yet. But see, the thing is, if Rory calls, this extra eight hundred is going to be twenty eight hundred in the middle. Rory's going to uh, effectively. They're both going to have about thirty three hundred behind. So it's going to be a situation where there's one bet on the flop, and the stacks are getting in, or they will uh, be getting in on the turn. <laughs> so these guys are battling, man. Rory knows. And Yuchan, I don't think is four betting there to fold. So, like you said, you know, when it's when it's on the tables, it's show business. But I can confirm when I walked in to Rounders tonight, yeah, Rory and Yuchan were up front at the at the uh, golf simulator, hitting golf balls, hitting golf yeah. balls, uh -huh. and then now here they are taking shots at each other on the table. You gotta love it. <laughs> yeah, they'll go hard at each other. Chaz has got a very playable hand. King Queen suited. Oh, so <laughs> he emits a little, uh, a little exclaims, a little jo joy coming out. Chaz makes a raise, takes it down pre-flop. Unfortunately, nobody else had a hand. King Queen suited there, though. I think we are very hopeful. We want to see flops, but yeah. it takes it down pre two. Can't complain. Yeah, that, it's not going to hurt your feelings if somebody raises behind you. Right. You no, know, you you do want to see that. Want to see more cards. You know what? I like seeing some cards. Really. Yeah. And I know after watching this game tonight, it's been a minute since I have even thought about playing cash games, but it feels really cool to be back here at the club, just San Antonio. Uh -huh. and I, might, I might play a little cash after yeah. this stream. Get some chips in your hand Feel again. A yeah. Yeah, yeah. Riffle the chips. You want to jump on the big O table with me? You know, I gotta, see what's going on with those fellas. You guys want some money, huh? <laughs> I, I don't really know big O, but I'll get in there. Especially like, uh, five card PLO high low. Yeah. If you give me four card PLO high low, at least I know to just eight, give me ace deuce. I'm that guy. And I'm, I'm just going to be putting chips in the middle. We got a gut shot here for J1 backdoor flush draw. Jacob bets 35 with his king 10, two overs. I like this. I like this raise. J1 makes it 105. Instead of calling to try to get there, 
decides to raise. The question is, is Jacob going to believe it? Would most people raise a four here? So it looks like uh, Jacob does not believe it, and he's going to try to take it away on later streets. So now the fact that he just calls, does that, oh, my goodness, it gives J1 a straight immediately. It should be warning flags for J1, but he makes it straight. So the warning flags are put away, yeah. and, and, and now we're hopping in the car. We're ready to go. I don't think Durant wants any part of this. 280 in the middle, and it looks like he bets two, maybe 300. I think I saw three chips going out there. 255, and yeah, Jacob does not improve. But you know what? Honestly, I can't blame Jacob for calling there because if you think about it, how often are you going to you know, check raise a four there? Yeah. Especially if your opponent might have a lot of the time just over cards. I think some players may tend to slow play them. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think there's it, – it's not typical that somebody is going to want to announce a four in their hand, right? Um, I think you probably just want – if somebody is wanting to bet into you, why talk them out of it? Mm -hmm. you know, why raise and, and, and help them play perfectly? Right. Uh, so but you can go double level where you actually do raise with a four in your hand, and then the other guy's thinking, well, why would anyone raise with a four in their hand? Right. Clearly, he doesn't have a four, so I call or I re-raise. Yep. Yep. But that's what makes this game so beautiful. It is. I actually uh, – Jammer, one of our uh, – stream director as part of our stream team mm -hmm. we had a situation in a tournament where i flopped trip threes in the big blind versus his uh button open and i raised knowing that why would i raise here and you know kind of the leveling that you were just talking about yeah. i remember i did that and him and i talked about that hand for a bit yeah and he was like if it wasn't you i wouldn't have called there i would like fold he had queens on 10 3 3 mm -hmm. yeah so a situation just happened about 30 minutes ago on the big O table with me where I had, you know, you have five cards. I had uh, two of my cards were 10-3. The flop was 3-3-10. Three, three, so I flopped the full house. I checked and I got, and someone bet the pot. So I put him on probably having a three. Uh, turn was a seven and then he, uh, I, I bet pot and he repotted it. So now I, I just immediately folded. Scary. I gave him credit for tens. To maybe he has tens full of threes, and then he, I, I showed him my ten three. He turned over seven seven. So he turned sevens full of threes. I had threes full of tens. Oh wow! So the, it's a communication, right? You're talking. You're ra You're betting. You're raising. You're you. Know, uh, this is how you communicate, and you are relaying the strength of your hand to your opponent. And yep. whether you want to be straightforward with it or you want to be tricky, it just kind of depends on how you want to you want to communicate. Hundred percent. Poker for me too. A lot of the time is just telling stories. JT, hello there. Hello, JT. Yeah, he says J Jesse's students will be tired. Or Jesse will be tired, so the class will be uh, have an easy class tomorrow. And Poker Jesus here. Says, welcome back, Drew. He said that um, because of the Big O stream, he bought all three of Greg Vale's books. Oh, nice. So I'll have to let Greg know. He's He'll be out there tonight playing. Very cool, very cool. He'll be happy to hear that. That's awesome. And I think that's why uh, Greg was so excited to come on the stream. Uh, I don't know how many people really – Play Big O? How much Big O content is out there? So I know yeah, that was pretty awesome. Definitely not as widespread as uh, a lot of other games. Of, of mm, course, No Limit Hold'em is you know still uh, king. But uh, yeah, this really gave exposure to that game and let people know what it's what it's like. Here are our winnings to this point. Bobby and Yu Chun up about the same. Rory's down from his three betting. Ejection. Uh, Jesse has yet to put a, a nickel in. <clears throat> Looks like he does have a straddle on right now. He's got 20 in front of him. JJ said he was on his way. They said they were going to kill the Or fold. All right, looks like we're going to be heads up. 10-6 for 
for Jacob, who flops top pair in the flush draw. Very strong hand for his holding. Very strong flop. Not enough for Jesse to stay involved. And we'll go on. Too big of a miss. Too big of a miss yeah. there. So I came back and I hope everybody was safe during the recent ice storm, ice, ice weather and everything that was going on. When I was in the Bahamas, I was well, seeing a bunch of stuff yeah, and I know we, I had some uh, friends we up in Austin. Training. It might have been a little bit worse. Yeah, we I think it was. Of, out of power from time to time, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that kind of just came to mind. I hope everybody's doing all right. That's, uh, that's some tough times. I mean, it was fine. I enjoyed that part, that whole moment. Yeah, it was pretty I mean, cold for a couple of days. A little nasty. It wasn't quite as much ice as I think we kind of had prepared for, so it could have been worse. Especially here in the San Antonio area. Yeah. He's in his last stream, dude. Rip. Was it really? <laughs> that was, yeah. Wow, he fucking menaced for what? Jacob's going to raise a 50 with his ace 10 <laughs> off suit, and he's going to get called by John George. This is a free goal. It was a little weird that he did this. Ooh, really you has got a meaty hand. Like this is a no, spicy this, one. Manically doesn't like hold him. Raising coming. Man, he goes large. 650 to go. So Jacob raised. John George actually three bet. So now he's got to figure out is Yuchon just squeezing? I think John George initially raised the straddle. He's I think he shoved. Yuchan yeah, three bet, then, then. and he's he all in, and Yuchan snap calls. John George was hoping that Yuchan at least had some overcards that they were flipping, but he is dominated big time here. Yuchan shows Yuchan, the king. Yuchan is only showing one king. <laughs> How about a seven? Oh, oh no! God! Oh. How does that? John George, excited <laughs> about that. I think he already knows. I think he already told him. Uh, he showed him one to go, though. Let's see here. Oh, wow. We're going to get the max sweat here after he hits the set. Let's see if Yuchan can hit the king. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Hi, <laughs> fans, sir. He just shoves with eights. He's got the money in looking great. Well, you can't fuck that unless you're going to earn the money. What are you going to do, though? You know, in a game that uh, plays this big, there's straddle. There's dead money out in the middle. John George raises it up. Uh, very similar situation. Chaz raised it early with the sixes, but nobody had anything. Mm -hmm. uh, Yuchan behind has the kings re-raises. He's not just going to be doing that with uh, big hands. Right. He could have. He'd be <laughs> doing with ace queen, ace king. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, for sure. He's queen, ace king. <laughs> Maybe even an ace jack suited, considering how wide the John George could be raising in that situation with all the dead money. <laughs> I think uh, a good amount of time. Usually, just expect to. Yuchan probably expects to take that down. The thing is, though, we we don't want to discount Jacob's uh, opening from uh, under the gun, I believe, or maybe under the gun I plus he, two. I, I think he was straddled because uh, it showed Yuchan as the three better. Yeah, so I think John George just raised the straddle. Is that right? Yuchan re raised. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Feels nice to be the one hitting the set when you get it in bad. And you know what? That's that's part of the way poker works. So sometimes you got to get it in bad. That's the thing. <laughs> Don't count on it. <laughs> I know. Hey, Don't count on being saved. <laughs> you know what? If you are not getting it in bad a percentage of the time, you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> you're not trying hard enough. I promise you. It's weird to say, yeah. but it's an important part of the game. You need to be shooting your shots. You need to be fighting back in these spots. And if you're not jamming into aces or kings, you know, occasionally, <laughs> then you need to think about uh, how aggressive you are playing. Mm -hmm. What's up there, Gamma Human? In our Twitch chat says, is this in San Antonio? Yes, this is San Antonio, Texas. We are on uh, Wurzbach. Horsbach and I-10, yep. yep. If you're familiar with San Antonio, there's a, uh, we're, we're, we're right behind the H-E-B. I'm not sure why I mentioned that, but we, <laughs> but we are. <laughs> Everyone knows where H-E-B is in San Antonio. So, uh, yeah, we're here. And we are 
We've got uh, tables. We've got 28 tables. We've got uh, tournaments going every night. Tonight, I think we've got uh, a $5,000 guarantee free roll. Yep, tonight so it stuff. is Tuesday. Every Tuesday we got a $5,000 free roll, for those of you who do not know. If you are wanting to get your feet wet in poker, but maybe not wanting to put the same type of money on the table that these guys have, $0 buy-in for all the rounders free rolls. All you have to do is pay your daily club access fee. Of course, there's add-ons. That's how the prize pool builds. We got a nice pot here starting. We got the fours, Bobby Calls, Rory raises to 60. And John George has his eights. John George <laughs> with the eights again. Let's see if he treats him nice after they treated him good last time. He decides to get in there as well. Yuchan with a uh, decent mm -hmm. hand. Same as Jesse's. Yuchan and Jesse have the exact the same hand. Doctor, the they take the, the lead. The King Jacks are now in the lead. And we have a hot dog in, in somewhere <laughs> at the table. How you feel for one? Jazz is, is waving his hot dog around. Is that actually good? good? Jesse bets 175 in the 305. 175 in the 305. By the time he gets back around to Rory with the Queen 10 of Spades, yeah, who's got to a little something really working as well. What do you think? Yeah. I like the, I like this. I don't want to give up the Queen 10 of Spades yet. It is multi-way, but I, if it was heads up, we know Rory is not going to be folding here. There's so many good turn cards. A nine, a king, a spade. Jeez, if it's a nine of spades, king of spades, it's fantastic, right? Yep, now he's open-ended, hmm. and the two guys left have two pair, but the third diamond presents itself and kind of makes them slow down. Yep. Looks like they are, I don't think anybody's going to be folding here. They decide to pot control, and then we will uh, likely see a bet and a call on this river. How long till Jamie gets axed? And then potentially I might I even hear, oh, you play that? that? You play <laughs> that crap? You, you ever be in those spots? It, People uh, say that. It's kind of a classic. Yeah, corny, shit, but, right? you know, funny <laughs> thing. <laughs> Very often. <laughs> I've said it myself before, too, so. 275, snap called by the professor. Yeah, check back the turn, you know, never, never too careful. Well, that's funny. We're always like, a check back mm -hmm. turn, got to be careful. Game. These guys are funny. They're very, very, oh, they switched <laughs> up. <laughs> they are very knowledgeable well, in poker. Kidding. And even more, you know, Texas poker is a little bit different. If you're watching this stream from anywhere and you have not been to Texas, you get a chance to come to San Antonio. It's not just all about poker. We got tons of poker here, but uh, there's the Riverwalk, there's the Japanese Garden, there's the downtown, there's just all these other things to do. And I know a lot of my friends plan on coming up for a couple of tournaments in yep. the uh, next month. Like I said, the uh, poker, poker Masters. Masters. That's going to be a big draw. That's going to be a nice one, starting on the 15th. So that's eight days from now. The day one flights for that start. Sounds good. Yeah, and back here in Rounders, specifically inside our card room, we have a, uh, as we mentioned, we referenced the, the grill, full-service bar as well. Uh, we've got uh, golf simulators, you mentioned, yep. that the boys are out there hitting hitting golf balls on very often. We've got about 42 TVs. I don't even know how many we have with sports running and plenty of entertainment. Professional dealers, top-notch dealers. So we got a double word bomb pot coming up. King do stoops a six five. So fifteen dollar bomb pot, everybody. So we got about uh, what is that? Fifteen times eight. Math is hard. Uh, one twenty. Ooh, I bet he's wrong. Let me see. Fifteen times. Hey, dang, this guy's good, man. Don't, you know, bet, it, don't bet. Don't bet. Don't bet on rude. Bet, bet on rude. <laughs> this guy knows math. I do not want this guy at my table. <laughs> Take me way longer. I'm pulling my shoes off to use my toes to count. What's up there, Jeff Cat on Twitch? How's it going tonight? Good luck on uh, whatever grind you might be getting into. Looks like we're just getting some graphics sorted here. <laughs> Second double board bomb pot of the night. But yeah, you're going to be playing the uh, 200K coming up, Rudin? 
Yeah, I think I, I will be. Um, a lot of that's going to depend on my travel, because that, that is right in the middle of my trip to Vegas. So we'll see how things go out there. I, it's unfortunate that that tournament lands right in the middle of the, the circuit event at the in Vegas. For sure. I'll uh, make sure to do my best to yeah, once uh, represent. Yeah, once you jump in, represent uh, for, the, for the commentary booth, huh? I got you, buddy. I do what I can. <laughs> I do what I can, you know. Hold it down. It's so sick. All right. So uh, up, we are at a turn here. We'll see the players' cards in just a second. One bet's one bet's 120. Seat up him. Seat one. one, uh, one seat. Bet 120. That's you, Chan. You plumbing? You're in? Gambling table. Little? Yeah, lunch in a little bit. Jackson, Jackson. I'm the gambler, dude. Jacob is going to make the call. You just got to put your fucking foot down. You play against these guys. They come in four betting the blind. Little fix the blind. Whatever. Yeah, 45 blinds. Yeah. I had a very bad record in spot the last week. Uh, looks like they're trying to talk uh talk new player coming in we got an open seat so if you uh if we don't <laughs> fill it here with uh the gentleman that we have there we uh yeah come and hop on uh, poker atlas waitlist yeah, if you're in the area come on down and if this this size isn't uh, isn't what you want we do have Several one two tables out there. The aforementioned big O table that game is running. I think there's a one three table going tonight as well. Yeah, I know the one three games have been popping off. PLO games have been uh, starting to pop off as well here at the club. So, whether you like some one two, some one three, some PLO, we also have uh, one two five on Cap Game that runs here fairly often. Drew, we have an interest list here for you. The PLO five, ten dollar bomb pots, and PLO five. That's one that you might want to take a look at. It's not running tonight. That's more of a weekend game. Yeah. Fun game. Uh, John's going to scoop that. He's going to win both. He <laughs> does have a straight on the bottom board and. Uh, if you guys the top board, I mean, I basically had all the pairs on the top board and really didn't have jack shit on the bottom too. Trip deuces. If you had a pair on the bottom, I can't play down this side. John George able to make use of his run good, still continuing. I think he had a really good uh, run last night. He was playing a bigger game. Uh, that probably going in the uh, top 10 box. As was, uh, what was the game? Chaz. I think it was not necessarily size wise, just like 5, 10, 25, I believe. Sure that pops to be one. Oh, for sure. I jam, you re jam, and snap. Snap calls off the re jam with four or five boxes. That is a big game. I don't think you're going to see your boy in that. Maybe if I would have won that 25K down in the Bahamas, I might have played some 5, 10, 25 with the boys here. Boys and girls in Texas. Start to make you happy and stuff? Yeah. He tripled. Oh, he's done. Yeah, two, two in a minute. Yeah, it's fine. Raise from you, Chan. 300 to go, Rory. What do you want to do? She just drowned 500 on the butt. And then it goes limp. And then he shoves like Then it goes limp. I, 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 I shove. <laughs> I reach up. How much do you have? 3K. 2.2. You got 2.2. Nice. I reach up. 8K or eight. something. And she snaps 4.5. Four four five. Five. Rory Ooh, with the re another, another three bet. <laughs> Looks like he's making about 900. Five, six, six, seven, fifty. He made it three fifty. Yeah, uh, Utah made it three hundred. Looks like Rory made it seven fifty. Chaz is all Chaz in. Chaz rips it for four thousand, five five thousand. Yuchan immediately oh calls. Oh my gosh! Rory changes his mind. <laughs> I need to see what they have. <laughs> Hey, I have fucking ace in my hand too. Damn it. 
<laughs> her bass cutting. Nobody likes her ass. Do like wow, this. so yeah, massive pot. Mm -hmm. I would Queen love to know what they have. I guess if uh, Chaz is all in here for a huge stack, he's going to have aces, kings, ace, king. Uh, maybe he'll have kings and queens, maybe even jacks sometimes, depending on how uh, Lucy he thinks Yuchan is going to be in the spot. But he also had to worry about Rory because Rory also put in the raise to 750. Well, he didn't wor worry about Rory very much. <laughs> he just <laughs> ripped it immediately as soon as he looked at his cards. He's got to have something. Uh, I heard Yuchan announced ace high. Looks like Chaz has <laughs> two, two paint. paints. Queens, maybe? Queens or kings. Looks like the ladies. It is the ladies. So classic queens versus ace king here. And Chaz just slides in a slides in a rack here. Queens? Oh, Yuchan had jacks. Yuchan had jacks. Oh, did he? Yeah. So queens versus jacks. Dang, that's tough. But you know what? They're going to get it in there. Because Yuchan knows that Chaz can very well have Ace King there, Ace Queen uh, suited. Well, I did hear say someone say Ace High. I heard somebody say Ace High too. They were trolling. They trolling the other guy. Yeah, I think I think that they were trolling. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have played a lot with each yeah, other. Yeah, I that's feel like it was. Uh, look at Yuchan scooping his pot. <laughs> Uh, that is funny. There was a hand that Chaz and Seti had uh, a few streams ago where uh, Chaz was like, ah, King High or something, but he had yeah. it. It was like a semi slow roll. Yeah. <laughs> Here's that event we were talking about, Drew. 2023 Poker Masters, $200,000 guarantee. Day one is, uh, we have multiple day ones. First one is February 15th. So it'll go uh, 15th through the 18th. Multiple flights. Did you say we had eight flights, something like that? Uh, two, three, six, eight. <coughs> yep, I think it's eight flights because there is not a. Usually, there's a turbo er yeah. early <laughs> on the uh, Sunday of the day two, but I don't think we're doing that time. So All right. pl plenty of opportunities for people to get in, try to get the trophy. You can see the eagle here, except it'll say, you know, 2023 Rounders uh, Poker Masters champion. Fun, buddy? Yeah. yeah, the thirty minutes, uh, four hundred dollars to get in. For your chance to win the, your share of two hundred thousand dollars, yep. And uh, thirty minute blinds on day one, forty minute blinds on day two, and we will be f uh, live streaming a final table. Correct. Yep. So this is going to be an exciting one. We've had some great final table streams. We just finished up the hundred k monthly roundup <coughs> that we did. We had an awesome trophy for that. And uh, his nickname is the Mexican Buddha. Long? Yeah. Luis. Luis, yep. Mexican Buddha. He had a rail there. Uh, <laughs> he sure I, did. A lot of energy. I was, in, I was in the Bahamas. I was watching it back, and I was like, oh, look at this rail. Everyone's there. You could there. tell, right? A lot and of energy. In the all the comments when the uh, winner's picture was posted, just so many people just like, yo, this is the guy. So that was exciting. That was felt yeah. like one, one for the good guys type of thing. Yeah, he does have, have a good follow. He's a, yeah, he's a good, good guy. He's well liked in the, in the poker room. Poker rooms in the area. Yep. Seems like we got a, a lot of uh, big fans for sure. Yeah, he was telling me that, uh, you know, early on in his, in his poker career, his parents weren't necessarily pleased about his play. You know, he's still a student in college, and uh, they weren't really happy. And um, – but now they've kind of come around. In fact – about four days after his win, uh, I was at the bar having, you know, socializing, talking to people, and all of a sudden, Luis calls my name, turned around, and he goes, "Hey, I want you to meet my dad." His dad came to visit from Mexico. Oh, that's awesome! And uh, <clears throat> it showed him around, and they were meeting people that he plays with and his friends, and it was kind of a cool deal. It was nice, very nice cool, to very get cool. to know him and his brother as well, and his sister. Yeah, I made it. Um, they're talking about that hand that just went down yeah, the Queens versus Jacks. Yeah. I, yeah, I think we're just kind of sorting through the details on that because uh, apparently one of the players added on and we weren't aware of the stack change. So it kind of threw off the stats that we had. And now we're, the production is, is now uh, sorting that through. So sorting through the little discrepancy. So Yuchan here, yeah, see, so we're getting this updated because Yuchan did just lose a stack, but he did also just add back on. So huge hand for uh, Big Daddy Chaz. First person tonight to crack the five-figure mark. 
And this is fun too because everybody, the most that they can start with everyone is $5,000. So when you see here now that Chaz is up to $10,000, you know where he started. At least at 5,000. Chaz did start at 5K. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be some stories here tonight. We might see uh, like Jesse, uh, J1, uh, John George started with 2,500. So if and when one of them crack the five figure mark, it's going to be, you know, they did some work to get there. They did some work to get there. Yeah, that's right. And we have Yuch on. He's really been very active on the table tonight, but, you know, just card distribution, that's just the way it is. He's just playing the cards as they're being dealt to him. Yep. That's what it's looking like, man. The walking sticks. Ooh. Unfortunately for you, Chan, after flopping a set here, Big Daddy Chaz does not have too much to continue. It's a pretty wet board. Yeah, so he'd I really like to get the chips from Big Daddy Chaz, too, wouldn't he? <laughs> yes, I'm sure he would love to get some back. He's hopeful. He'd love it if, if, if Chaz had King Jack or <laughs> Ace Jack, oh, that's sad <laughs> even one. Queens, right? That's mm -hmm. a real sad one. <laughs> true, true. A very sad one. Not that time. And, and Chaz just gives a little laugh. You know, he knows he he avoided uh, disaster. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, another count, dog. What's up there? Shout out to my man's long car poker on Twitch. What's up, brother? I hope you had a uh, good day, buddy. And also, wait, Ian Sheriffs. What's up there, Ian Sheriffs? Let's get it. Hanging out with us tonight, everyone. We got some live poker, some cash game action, some 5 5 action here from Rounders Card Club in San Antonio, Texas. We got a lot of familiar faces. A lot of really good players yes. at this table too. We've already seen one $10,000 pot tonight between Big Daddy Chaz and Yuchan. <laughs> Pretty big cooler, Queens versus Jacks. Two aggressive, uh, very well capable players. That's true, that's right. Fireworks early on. Draw pretty thin here. Gotta flop the son of a bitch. <laughs> Gosh, man, I want to see a poker reality TV show where people go into a house, yeah. and I want Chaz to be one of them in there. <laughs> you know, he just has, I, I, say, I say it a lot, man, but when you just hear his laugh, Yeah. you, you know he's in the building, and you're just oh, like, of course. Yeah, you don't want to be around. Yeah, you know? if you don't know he's, he's in, in the room, if the moment, it won't take long, because if he's in, he's laughing, right? Yeah, yeah. The moment you hear it, you know there's, there's no mistaking his laugh. It's very infectious. And you know what? On the other end of the spectrum, we have Yuchan. Where I don't know if I've heard him say more than 20 words. <laughs> but he's uh, a really cool dude. Yeah, you know he's I mean? low-key. Very, very chill. He's, he's, he's one of those, and I, I respect that a lot, too, yeah. He's a funny guy, though. He, he just isn't going to – he's definitely not as boisterous as uh, BDC. He's like that low-key sarcastic. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> we got a nice pot here. Jacob with the three bet to 250. Bobby with the threes. Let's see how he wants to uh, proceed. Looks like he's going to call and see a flop. Glad to see Bobby in there. It's going to be tough to navigate this for Bobby with the pocket threes. Obviously hoping to hit a set. And not a set. Oh, flop. Jacob flops trips, though. Let's see how he plays it. <laughs> yeah, do you have a bet on this game or what? Let's huh? very, do you have a bet on this game or what? Let's very invested. No. Mandatory no, no, no. bet. I, uh, 505, what do you want to bring here? Yeah, I don't know why I'm throwing that. Say, That's about what I expect. About 175. 175. You know what? The, th the thing is here is Jacob's got this board pretty locked up. Even if he's up against Jack-10, he's got an ace, so he's uh, removing the possibilities that Jack-10 is going to get there a bunch. You really just want to get called by worse queens, start to build a pot. If you bet a little bit too big, you might uh, get a king to fold. But with this sizing here to what, uh, by him betting a, about a third of the pot, it allows for him to bluff in that spot as well sometimes when he has some ace-jack, ace-7 suited, yeah, maybe some 7-8 suited suited stuff that he might have uh, re-raised their pre-flop. But the, um, the money lines plus are out. So I do like that sizing. I would consider checking sometimes if I thought my opponent would lead out on the next street or that I could build a pot by checking. Because in poker, it's not always that we want to bet in order to build a pot. There's going to be some situations where checking is actually going to be the best way to build a pot. Yeah, give the other 
opponent or give the opponent the opportunity to take the lead and because you know aggression you you're re in poker you're rewarded for aggression yep. right mm -hmm. and then sometimes you can exploit your opponent by allowing them to be aggressive yep for sure I need a every, every single person to go ask is the Eagles going to win well, one of the things where they're like, the better team, it's the better bet. Doesn't mean they're going to win. Correct. Because they haven't played right. They hate this year. And they both have the two worst schedules. That's so. Chaz on the button. Like their playoff run was just two worst. Well, the AFC has much better quarterback. No, he's playing. Look like we saw him toss some uh, chips out. Yeah. Uh, extremely bad Giants team. Yeah, and they play the big. The six next four. Yeah, San Francisco without a quarter. Those two weeks, I give you that, but I mean. Throughout the year, they've had the best offensive line and the best defensive line. For sure. Yep. They for sure have the best offensive line. All right. Chaz does raise it to 250 with the ace seven. Jesse's going to call Jack 10 suited. The RPO offense hand that's going to flop well. However, not this time. This one completely misses Jesse. Chaz does have the uh, the wheel draw. I've not played with Jay, Jay Wynn before. You, no, did you meet him? I didn't get the chance to meet him. No, I did see him on the other outer tables though before the stream started. Yeah, I have not been able to play, or I haven't noticed Jay Wynn before. I feel like I maybe played with Jesse a little bit. I played with just about everyone else, maybe not Bobby, uh, to some extent. Mm -hmm. But looks like uh, Jay Wynn here is uh, definitely Jay Wan. Jay Wan. Jay Wan, yeah, is. I'm thinking of uh, the other Jay Wynn yeah, up, up, up in Austin. Yeah. But. Jesse, you will get yeah, he's made some good plays so far. And it looks like we have a $140 raise, $160 raise from Rory. Chaz makes it $400. <laughs> I told you, he's got the purple chips ready to go. <laughs> Chaz not, not messing around today. Although John George, what is John? He just calls with the tens. I would like to have... Yuchan is getting in there as well with the 89. Rory also with the 89. Is he in there too? These guys are gangsters. I love to see this. Look at this. We got two 8-9 offsuits here in the $1,600 pot. Chaz has the sixes. John George actually has the best hand at this point, but literally with all these hands, these are hands that have to fight post-flop. So we'll see if John George's tens can uh, survive the pressure Look at this here. interesting flop. Chaz is blocking Rory and Yuchan. Over the over pair for John George is looking a little better now. Rory just takes the initiative and bets a thousand. Looks like eight hundred here. That's pretty. Oh, he announces eight hundred. Announces eight hundred. Yep. With a little orange plaque. What and does Chaz do? Ooh, yep. Chaz is going to make a fold here. It's a fairly safe board for sixes, but when Rory takes the lead, with Chaz having been the preflop raiser. That says something. And I know that uh, Rory and Chaz have played a lot of hands together in Yuchan, so it's very there's levels here that I'm sure we're not uh, privy to. It is interesting, because of, especially because of the sixes that he has, right, well, on that board. Yep. And John George believes his hand is best here. He re-raises to 2,000 with the tens. And now John George has about 2,300 behind. Rory and him, similar-ish <coughs> stacks, it looks like. Now, if Rory knew that Chaz folded the sixes, I think he'd be getting out of the way, but he does not know that, obviously. So he's wondering, you know, could my 8-9, could I still bank? Could I get there? He's in horrible shape right now. The yeah. sixes are gone. The tens are gone. He, You know, he doesn't – if he hits one of his cards, they're no good. He, he's he's going to be getting out of the way here, right? There <laughs> he's not happy about it, but, yeah. They are battling, though. They are battling here. 
a hundred percent. You see that hand there? I'm eight, a little nine, surprised eight, that Chaz folded with that those that specific two. pair being so key to that combination on the board. Mm -hmm. You know. But I guess that has more to do with the number of people in the hand. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of variables there that's going on. That was four ways. And then we had, with Chaz, the aggressor pre-flop, yep. we have somebody out of position to three other players on 7-5 deuce rainbow. Leading out. Leading out. But what would he be leading out with? Fives, maybe? What? Seven, seven, five, seven. Fives, sevens, yeah, some sets, maybe some yes. seven five suited, some two pair. Uh, Rory could have been leading out there thinking that, okay, uh, if any of these players have an over, over pair, then they're going to not go anywhere or they're going to re-raise because why would I be leading there? And as you can see, John George re did re-raise after Chaz folded. John George re-raised his ten. So if Rory did indeed lead with seven, seven five, fives, they're a big hand. He's getting all of uh, John George's chips there by taking the lead. Mm -hmm. Not that he wouldn't have got it on future streets, but if a high card comes on the turn, then it's going to kill the action there. So I like the idea of a lead. And you know what it does there, too, is it kind of diversifies your playbook. You know, it makes you tougher to play against. There yeah. are some really cool spots to lead. Unfortunately, there for Rory, that was a, you know, Poor timing with the cards and, you know, the distribution and some of the cards that were already removed from the equation seeing Chad's fold, but Chad's is fold. Yu Chun's got Jax up against Bobby. Just, he's not calling, folks. Bobby makes it 75 to go. Yu Chun's going to three bet him. Makes it 300 to go. Bobby's got a thousand behind, so we're looking at about 500, 600 in the pot. Tough spot for Bobby, especially with how aggressive this whole table, the table's been the whole time, and now this is just a this board is just gonna, it's just going to be pretty much death. Yeah, for Bobby, it really is. They both have over pair over pairs to this board. Yuchan just looked at his stack. Looks like he's probably going to. He's just going to set them all in right now. Yep. I was thinking he might bet small, like super small, to induce, but it didn't. It doesn't appear to have mattered. Yeah, with the stack to pot ratio, Bobby had uh, 760 behind. There was already like 680, 700 in the middle. So it's really tough to fold on this board. So unlucky for Bobby, really, that the board came out so low and kind of favorable for his hand. Yeah, exactly. Because then he loses the rest here. Versus you yeah, it looks stats. like a very safe board. It, it, and it is. It is a safe board for, for nines and eights. I'm and, oh, sorry, not eights. Uh, nines and, nines and uh, tens. But he happened to be up against jacks. So... There we are. There we are. There's a our list of players and their uh, level of activity. Yuchan leading the way. Yuchan leading the way. That is something that we will uh, not be hearing the last of. Shout out to Longcar Poker, by the way, fellow ACR uh, Team Pro, with the raid on Twitch just a little bit ago. Shout out to my mans. And hello to Jaylene. Jaylene Chaparro in I'm the YouTube chat. Hope you're having a good night. If you are watching us on YouTube, enjoying the stream, please <laughs> don't forget to hit that Very like button. You can follow Rounders tonight on Twitter and Instagram. Feel free to tag us with your favorite hands. Go ahead and give us a follow there, exclamation point Rounders in the chat. No. Looks like Jacob is going to make it 25 to go. No, he's calling. So maybe there's a straddle we missed. Yeah, I, I don't think any of these hands. I have not noticed a hand that went unstraddled. No, yeah, at this I point. think you're right. Yuchun, the, the action does get back around to him. To Yuchun on the straddle, he does raise it and takes it down. During the bomb pot situation, guys, are we bombing? I was on the table playing No Limit Hold'em <laughs> earlier today <laughs> with uh, Jay Wan's <laughs> friend. His buddy is a young young guy out there. I didn't catch yeah, his name, but it was clear that they, these guys put some time at the poker table. Yeah. yeah. I think that was a complete disaster. I think I stole a hand from him. I was I misrepresented what I had. I'm gonna tell him. Not a nice thing to do, huh? I'm telling him. <laughs> lying in poker. Can you believe that, everyone? I think he knew. <laughs> Rude, Rude's over here lying on the poker tables to people, bluffing and stuff. 
every hand, just call. Yeah. All you gotta do is call. <laughs> All right, so uh, looks like we got $25 straddle. Jacob is coming in for the raise to 75. Where's Jacob? He is in the hijack position. Fantastic, I like it. King 10 suited, nice yeah. hand. And wow, we're gonna see it uh, get taken down oh, here. Okay. That was it. Hijack position. Uh, it's a great, great spot to play hands in. You can open from there. It's a little later. Uh, you know, got plenty of every, most people are going to be acting in front of you. Uh, there's only uh, a cutoff in the button behind you, so yep. you, it allows you to open up your range and play a few more hands. Easy, easy raise. That's one of my uh, favorite hands, King-10 suited. I'm kind of torn. Jack-10 suited, King-10 suited. It's nice to look at. Give me some rope. I'll get in there with those hands. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. It's ready to go. Next time forever. I used to really stay away from King 10. Like, I just didn't. I didn't include that in my opening ranges at all, but um, I like it. It's, I think it's in there now. It's, it's in the rotation. <laughs> we got Jesse raising up to 150. Of course, there is straddle. And I think Rory made the call. Pocket sevens. And Jazz calls with the king nine as well. So we're going to go three-way to the flop. Just under 500 bucks in the pot. There's that king ten again. Chaz does hit the top pair. Nine kicker. We see two oh. spades on the board, and we see the action is checked around to Jesse in the hijack. He's got the ace of spades in his hand, and he's going to drive the action. He's going to bet 175. So this is a play I feel like he may be relying on that ace of spades to come in into uh, consideration. This is what he's relying on to get him through. For sure. I think he does bet there with the hopes of at least narrowing it down to a heads-up pot. Any spade is good for him. A queen and jack gives him more outs, and he can definitely barrel some cards. He has, uh, Jesse has decided here that Chaz is not going to be that strong. He's going to continue to tell this story. That's half pot, 400 into 800 some with 1495 behind. So it's going to be interesting now because if Chaz calls just the 400, it leaves Jesse room to think that he will fold on the river because now Jesse has set this up. There's 1.6K in the middle. Jesse has 1.5K behind. And Chaz does still have the best hand. Let's, and he checks. He checks to Jesse. Let's see what Jesse chooses to do. If he, if he could take his time. He might be able to pull off a bluff here based on his uh, player profile. He hasn't been playing very many hands at all, but he does check behind. It would have been a tough spot for Chaz there. I don't know what I would have done in oh, Chaz's yeah. situation with King-9 if my opponent re-raised uh, re pre, bet flop into two other players, <laughs> barrel turn, set up to jam the river, and then does actually jam the river. What are you going to do with King-9 there? How are you going to feel about it? Yeah, exactly. I think that was a good spot for him to, to take a shot. It's tough, though. You know, if we were in that seat, I don't know. Are we pulling the trigger on the river? We might know. That's the only way to win. But... I think that uh, Jesse also knows that uh, Chaz is capable of changing gears. And Chaz is probably just check calling down there. I'm not sure Chaz is folding if he thinks Jesse's capable of firing the uh, third bullet on the river there with not too much. I know versus a lot of players, though, I am probably going to be flipping the coin whether or not I'm calling my king nine on the river yeah. versus a really strong triple barrel all in on the river. Counting on something like... Who knows? An eye twitch, <laughs> a heaving chest, a coin flip. Anything, uh, man. Just pray, pray, <laughs> praying to the poker gods. Does the body move? Got some big numbers here. So, uh, John George, after getting his eights in versus Yuchan's Kings, flopping set, is our second biggest winner tonight. Well, he's a, that was a, a Actually, stack, our biggest yeah. winner, the stacks. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. the biggest stack. But yeah. John is our biggest winner tonight because uh, Chaz had lost a big pot earlier in the stream before he won the 10K pot. The double up from Yuchan. From mm -hmm. Yuchan, yep.
Pretty hand here. Base Jacob. four suited, yeah. Uh, yeah under the gun plus one. Your child's got the button. It's going to see a flop. I dig it. Playing from the button, occupying the button. That's a, a big thing in poker tournament, cash games, whatever it is. Can definitely play a wider range there. We're going to be the last person to act, so we're going to be able to gain all the information from our opponents before we have to make a decision. And Yuchan does flop the top pair. Not too much for uh, Chaz or Jacob. Although we do see Chaz with the ace of spades, and earlier we saw Jesse kind of lean on that ace of spades or that backdoor nut card. Oh, that's tough, dude. Chaz yeah, chooses to just <laughs> check, and I suspect he's probably just going to get out of the way. Another he's got a bet five. from Jacob Not with really nothing. <laughs> yep. And uh, Yuchan just calling a position. Yep, seems like a pretty Again, normal call. Why yep. disturb the guy? You know, he's betting into you. Yep. You got position. So like he's got all the power here. Let's see if Jacob decides to fire another one. Pretty blank turn for Jacob. Okay, He's out of position. There's 520 in the middle, and he has about 1500 behind. Do I buy all my shit in bulk? You buy shit in bulk? Really? Check from Jacob. Each one will take his time. Consider the pot size. Chances. So it's going to take to get a call or a fold, depending on what he wants. Looks like this downsize well, bet. Oh, makes it 225. It's less than half pot. It's kind of enticing. If you happen to be on a draw. But Jacob gets out. Easy fold in the turn there. Yeah, he really had a bad like hand with that. Like yeah. if, if they yeah. combined their wealth, like exact the board. Uh, like that one person would be the wealthiest in the world. Is. It's like I like that like he raised, though, preflop with ace-4. Like I mean, mm -hmm. you know, if you just try to limp in and just to see a flop to try to hit a flush or a wheel, you're kind of limiting yourself with your options, right? Um, whereas if you bring it in for a raise, you know, with the right board, you can represent something other than what you have. Exactly. You don't have to just try to make your hand. Exactly, yeah. We get to tell a different story by being aggressive. When we're not aggressive and we're just calling, for instance, pre-flop, if somebody raises and we just call, then a lot of the time our opponents are going to be able to know, okay, we do not have aces, kings, ace, king, all of our best hands because we just flat and we didn't re-raise. So by re-raising, we don't take that out of our story, having one of those big hands. That's just tough. That's that's just tough. Imagine, imagine being named, which I know somebody that is named Richard Zephyr. <laughs> Small pot that's, uh, pretty bad. in re relation to what uh, what we've had here recently. Yeah, we've had multiple four-figure pots already tonight. See that guy on One the 10K Mets? pot. Uh, um, his name is David Duke. Black guy. Really? Is there a name of David Duke? <laughs> Paired board. <laughs> what are they thinking? <laughs> J1 figures that to be a board that is going to miss most of the time or most of the people most of the time interesting though because there are three other people in the hand I think it's probably going to work that except for Roy Roy does make the call so Rory's not really interacting with the board either. Was, However, this is an interesting card, this like, nine of spades like on the turn. Not, uh, this is going to give uh, Jay Wan a flush draw now. Let's see if Rory <laughs> can hang on and see this through. Yeah, I don't think Rory's going to be going anywhere here with uh, this board. It does depend on the bet size. Rory's got a nice stack, though. Yeah, he's not going to be leaving for too much. Yeah, it's about a half pot. A little bit less than half pot bet. Rory does make the call. 
Oh, Ooh. man. The Four flush spades. comes in. So J1 gets there. Now, he's got to be thinking, how much can I get? What should I bet? But he also probably doesn't love the board Ooh. double pairing. He just bets 25 Gs, Rory's like, this is funny. How can you fold for 25 into a $560 pot? Flush. He's like, he throws it directly to him. He doesn't even throw it in the pot. He knows he's not <laughs> seeing that $25 again, but he has to That's call. That's right. Uh, interesting bet. <laughs> interesting bet. I like that. The old quarter. $25 bet. Raise me. Into 650, <laughs> 600 bucks. That's a good it's pretty funny. As a look at our V pips, Yu Chan still leading the charge. Quiet night for John George, yeah, although he did, he has the hands he's played, he's really, he's taken down and he's done really well in. But he's just not playing very many hands yet, not yet. I actually hate fresh hundreds, dude. That's a really shitty problem. Another indication of a quiet <laughs> night <laughs> for John George. No, they're going to the gates. J1 with a suited ace is going to raise to 20. Yeah, they stick together. Hard to count. Oh, Yuchan's second second tour with the Kings. He got raised to 20 and a call from John George. Yuchan is going to three bet. Makes it 80. 85, rather. Back around to J1. He can make the nuts with his hand. That's what he's thinking. No, that's fine. Re King oh my goodness, J Wan's gonna four bet to two seventy five. Yu Chan, Yu Chan's ready for. He's not going anywhere. He doesn't. He doesn't mind that he just got felted with kings earlier. This time he's just gonna call with kings. He, tricky, tricky. He's in position on J Wan. Some people might be like, no ace, no ace. When you flat kings, might be a little uh, concerned about it. But when your hand is this disguised, again, you can win some big pots this way. This is a great flop for J1, too. He's got the gut shot, too. The straight. The wheel draw. Two diamonds. I don't believe that... <clears throat> I don't believe Yuchan is going to be slow playing this. He's not going to be calling behind. One pick is going to be one fifty into five eighty. Yes, I do. They had more purple. It's a really small bet. Love that for me. This isn't the kind of bet that that you really want to just call behind. I don't believe. Let's see what Yuchan decides because I think another thing to consider here is what the stack is going to look like in the <coughs> middle because J Wan's only got twenty five hundred. Yuchan covers him by about four thousand dollars. So he just calls it. There's 900 in the middle. Now, J1 did improve. So I think this is where Yuchan is really going to want to turn turn the heat up. Squeeze him. Yep. One thing that I was thinking about on that, on the flop bet, is the fact that there's a, you know, it's a, it's a wet board. You know, you've got the 5-3, you've you got, you know, your 6-7 out there, you've got the two diamonds. J1 bets looks like about 500 into the 880. Uh, regular, that puts 1380 now in the middle, and J1 has about 2K behind. If Yuchan thinks that uh, J1's capable of firing off bluffs here, he may just call. Because really at this point now, you know that if Yuchan calls this bet, there's going to be 1880 in the middle and about 1-1. One one. So mm -hmm. at what point do you, does he think he can get it all? Either here on the turn, or does he wait to try to get it all on the river? That said, you're right. There's a, a flush drawn flop. Maybe a couple straight draws that could connect with Jay Wan's hands. I think he just announced his the size of his stack. He just told you Chun what he had. He's just gonna set him all in right now. I think Jay Wan's gonna fold. Snap fold, yeah. 
That makes yeah. me think actually about announcing your stack, like how confidently we heard him in the back, 2000, right? Yeah. I I, and it took Yuchon by surprise a little bit too, right? Like he wasn't expecting that information to be coming from there. It's interesting because I, I know some really good live players. If you notice, once you know, Yuchon heard the 2000, I don't think he asked, but once he heard it, he put him all in. It's one of those things where it's almost like being challenged. Mm -hmm. And I think Yuchan identified, and he actually for sure thought he was going to get called because now it's like 2000. It's like, okay, I'll just put you all in. Right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Like Except he folded. Five yeah. Like so maybe it's really minutes. the opposite, right? <laughs> he's, you're, he's being strong. He's announcing, well, this is what you're up against, buddy. If you're going to call this, be prepared to call this as well, the 2000. Yeah. Like some people like biggest loss ever on five five. What's up to uh, right. Poker Traveler, Seti, the one and only. Hey, buddy. Good yeah. to see you out there. Yeah, you, you, you could have put a we out. have had a pretty good oh, night so far tonight you know, you as far as the out. action goes. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, there was a seat open. Uh, we've asked several people, invited people, people of note to come and join us and play, and uh, yeah. not everybody was available. <laughs> so, yeah, Bobby got it in. Like yeah, so back on that, back to that the bet sizing, um, you know, I was just thinking, it seemed like the young man, Jay Wong, was kind of setting his price, right? What he's comfortable, if he happened to be on a flush draw, you know, it's a small bet. Yep, I think that's part of the so function of that bet when you, when you bet there. You kind of want to block bet. Don't really want to check call when you just pick up bottom pair on the turn and you have a gut shot because you try to just put him in a really, really tough situation. So you kind of bet that turn, hope that your opponent does call, you get there, and uh, you set your own price like you were saying. So I think that very well could have been a function of it, especially from Jay Wan who threw out that $25 bet on the double paired board when he hit his flush probably wanting to block the action a little bit and hopefully get the showdown as he did. It would have been painful if uh, Rory would have decided to raise the $25 bet, but it's so small, and uh, Rory had just enough showdown, so he just tosses it in. Bobby's got queens. Bobby does have queens. Let's see what, he, uh, what resistance he's going to be met with in the form of kings oh boy look at this already was getting some action from big daddy chaz yeah i was just gonna say look how many people or well, two people so called noticed, between yeah, bobby and oh i guess it was just chaz this oh, is uh, only okay. chaz called. bobby has been in some spots tonight already he's got the queens here john george gets the kings he gets three bet again bobby's been trying to take a stand in a couple spots here we saw him call threes in a situation earlier, and uh, yeah, it was a tough spot. This is going to be an even tougher spot here with pocket queens, especially when the board comes you're, you're ten high. No, no. Well. Ooh, Chaz jumps into the lead. Both the kings and queens have a spade, though. John George asking a question. You That's 315 off, into 1360. Now, this is a board here where I think Bobby is not going to get away for one bet. <coughs> I could be wrong here with the way he's that looking at it. That is folding formation. That was. Pulls the cards back to him, takes one last look at him before he lets them go. What about Chaz, though? Chaz obviously has top pair here. How confident can he be that his eight is good enough? I think Chaz is going to be bluff catching here mostly because uh, John George could still have ace, king, ace, queen. Mm -hmm. It's not really a hand where Chaz can, oh, wow. Oh, someone, we, yeah. got, a, we got a new leader. Yep. New leader on this board. Even though John just made his hand, again, Chaz is just not going to be putting a ton of chips in the middle here with uh, the ace eight. He's just going to be calling down. So this is a matter of, how John George bets this to try to get max value. Yeah, I think he wants to kind of make sure that he stays in the hand, don't you think? I mean, like, like, let's say that the board pairs, a, a five comes off. Now Chaz is definitely going to be calling anything on the river. Yep, with about 2,000 in the middle, John George bets 440. I like this sizing. It's going to be so hard for Chaz to get away from top pair here. I win it. You just 
real question here. I'm going to be very curious what John George bets on the river. He's really trying to mm -hmm. suck him in more, maybe induce Chaz to raise. That could be a function of this smaller bet as well. Honestly, I think if John George bets uh, big, maybe three quarters pot on this river. There's the five I was just talking about. Paired the board. Yep. Now Chaz is playing. He can borrow that king. They both have a king kicker. If John George happens to have like ace queen, ace jack. Yeah, that's definitely going right? to make Chaz feel better about his hand at this point. Now, John George has got to think almost 3K in the middle. John George has 5,400 behind. What's he going to bet? Chaz is a capable enough player. If John George bets too big here, Chaz can find a fold. 5'10". Wow. 5'10". A very small bo uh, bet into <laughs> this pot. He it in. It's exactly what... What we were talking about, right? He thinks yep. he's – they're chopping the pot. Yep. Easy, easy call there for uh, Chaz, honestly, at that sizing. And that that was interesting. John George going with some smaller uh, bet sizes there. I agree. And also the the thing is that there were two spades on the flop, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So that, that what we were talking about as far as – or I, really what I was talking about as far as setting your price and when you're drawing at a flush, maybe that's another thing that Chaz thought. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think with those bet sizings, I would have to assume that John George did not put Chaz on an ace, Quarter. put him on some sort of uh, single one pair, lower than ace type of hand, medium strength hand, mm. that wouldn't be able to, to uh, call too much. Yeah, Might have been able to, to get uh, 1,000, 1,500 from Chaz potentially on that river. Wait, 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 you want me to Still yet, though, John George, our big winner Quarter. tonight so far, oh, up 6,300. <laughs> running away with it so far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, all, it's all you guys. What's up there, Kush Queen? Thanks for the raid over on Twitch. We hope you are having a great night. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Everyone, if you're on YouTube or watching us on Twitch or Facebook, maybe even Twitter, please don't forget to hit the like button. Follow the streams. We appreciate it. We got some new streams that we're planning to... Uh, get started here in the future yeah, there's a good chance so make sure you, you stay tuned on our social medias and twitch channels hope you like them we're gonna look to spice some things up a bit as we have recently big o game we had a 100k final table tournament stream recently that time for a bomb pot, wouldn't you say? It feels like it is coming. Do we oh, got? No. I don't think it straddles. is yet. Yeah, we got. <laughs> look at look I at Chaz. Straddles. Chaz is straddling for a hundred. So we're at the five, ten, twenty-five, fifty, one hundred. It's crazy, actually, because we advertise and we have the stream titled as a 5-5, five five, but it's never a 5-5. Five five. <laughs> I don't even know how sometimes these guys are <laughs> able to even play with the straddles as they are, because right now it's a 5100 game. Right now with with the straddles. Yeah, it's um, horrible. 25-50 game the majority of the time. <laughs> I know the viewers love it. Some of the players who bought in a little bit shorter don't love it as much. Right. Yeah, I remember I was playing on this this game uh, not that long ago, and uh, I, I probably had like fifteen hundred in front of me or so, maybe eighteen hundred, and there was two hundred and fifty dollars straddle <laughs> before the you know actually even got going. Yeesh. We're not rolled. We're not uh, sitting with that kind of money, really. <laughs> Everyone's got a shot at this flop. We got the pair, the ace jack, and the queen ten. Six is still in the lead. Everybody missed this flop. But four hundred from Rory. Yuchan does give him credit for a king <laughs> or anything, really. Rory with the sixes. Happy to take that one down on a king 7-5 board, right? Yes, absolutely happy. 100%. Stacking his chips with a little spring and a step. 
I do not blame. I'd be doing the same thing to take it down, especially at a table like this. Yeah. Right. Get it where, get it where you, when you can. It's like, how did no one have a back door, straight draw, flush draw, like well, all I mean, those things? Rare, rare case. Yeah, like nine of them earlier. I'm, I'm going to drain. It smells good out there. I went out there for a second. All that food out there, it made me hungry for a minute. Yeah. Look at the hamburger, man. The food is really good here. The fries are sick. If you come to Rounders, get something with fries. You will be pleasantly surprised at the perfect crispiness on the outside of these fries, but then the soft deliciousness on the inside. Get you some nice ketchup, maybe some ranch. I don't know. Type, type one in the chat if you're a ranch person. Type two if you're a ketchup person. You mean ra you mean with fries? Yeah. Ranch and fries? Ranch and fries? Is that yeah. is that not a thing? I mean, you? it's a thing, I'm sure, for people. I mean, for other people, not for this person. Rude. I'm not a ranch person. Really? After the, after the stream, I'll give you $5 if you have a French fry with some ranch for me, okay? Well, it's not like medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not afraid of it. I just Check don't choose to do it. Are you gonna hold me down? Uh, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch you after a couple drinks though, and I'm gonna okay. s slide some uh, ranch and French fries in front of you. Deal. Chaz got a nice piece of uh, this uh, board. Well, what Chaz doesn't want to do is make a seven high straight. Rory's in there, looking for the gut shot. Jack of Hearts misses everyone. Check, check. Ooh, Jacob was in there with the Ace Nine as well too. Mm -hmm. Queen of Hearts. Jacob is just hoping he'll be able to turn his Ace over. Oh, I think he he's checked. Oh, he's gonna. I think he can get uh, Chaz to fold his five. Let's see the sizing though. That's gonna be very I think important. You're right. Oh, two oh five. Looks like two oh five. So Rory with nine high, easy fold. Let's see if Chaz gonna, believes him. It's gonna work. Oh, you guys gonna keep drinking or what? Let's go. All right. Yes, I'll have a drink. Take a Bud Light. Air pressure, baby. What? Nice call by what? Chaz. <laughs> nice call by Chaz. <laughs> Stop it, Chaz. Stop it. Oh, I ran my uh, tournament idea by Scotty today. They said they're going to run it. Oh, I'll stop for sure. It's like a buck or something. That's, that's uh, a good idea. That's a good, good, good call. Uh, eight, eight, eight teams of like four. Let's split up into a heads up bracket where your team members are all in different brackets. So play down to a winner. John George is talking team about team his team tournament team idea, so his brainstorm. Uh, no, Actually, has he talked four, to you about that? He has told me. Yeah. Yeah, but eight teams are paying. I'm trying to listen. So in. Teams, okay, and, uh, he told me about it too. He's selling it. We got a couple pairs here, threes and tens. Jacob and Jesse. Of course, a big pot developing already. Suited ace for John George. He's going to three bet at the 450. What does Jesse do with tens? Gonna call. He thinks for about half a second and calls. Yep, I think this is definitely one of those things to a three bet. There's a lot, there's a lot of spots here. I think for these players that are quite standard, going to flop with tens, not four betting it, at an aggressive table, pretty easy. Piece for both. Jesse ahead. It's really a pretty good flop for John George's hand or his exact hand. <laughs> I've never seen you, Chan, play a hand so right game at the time. Eight, five, three, two, four, but you're calling. Jesse does raise. 
Oh, oh no, he just calls. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if John George continues to run hot here. Finds a way to improve his hand. I think when Jesse checks here, John George is going to be checking a bit. The power position. Get to act last. No, four doesn't give you well. I feel like John's tendency is to bet I thought you had five. Yeah. in this spot. Sure. You're right, he does that. check. Uh, that's, uh, He's got enough four showdown four. value here. He doesn't really need to bet. He gets four. called once already in a bloated pot where Jesse has 2,700 behind. You're going to check back here. Try to get to showdown. Hopefully improve your hand. We got the river you incoming. Looks like we uh, got some people who don't necessarily love ranch, uh, like you. I see yeah. A, I see a couple zeros in the chat. How does New Albert come? Huh? How do you just get all the other cards? And then uh, check, check on the river. Jesse's going to uh, does get to show down tens. Yep, pick up the one point six k pop again. John George with his ace eight there just has enough showdown on the river. Yeah, he had. A, I just felt like his tendency as you know his, his style is that he uh, typically likes betting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, to, to continue to put pressure on the on the opponent. Oh. Surprised to see that check back. Yeah, but it kind of worked in his favor that time. For sure, I think if he had a nine uh, x and of course some over pairs and things, he'll continue to bet. But that's uh, second pair there, loaded pot, kind of a low, uh, low stack to pot there. You know, Jesse only had about twenty six hundred behind, sixteen hundred already in the middle. We would hate to bet and then have to fold our ace eight there. So there's so many things to consider about. Uh, consider all the time. People stacks, how much is in the middle, how many players. It's very complicated, actually. It's a very complicated game. Very fun, though. It is. Here we see Jacob waking up with a playable hand. Aces is not bad. Two red aces. Uh-oh. You challenge got his thinking cap on in the cutoff. Got position on Jacob. What's he going to do? Min? He's going to min... Click him. Oh no! Excuse me. There's two black chips in this. So he makes it two ten to go. All right. Six five suited. Ace ten suited with the re raise. How is Jacob going to play this? This is interesting because Yuchan raised to two ten. Looks like Jacob's got about a thousand behind. This is a situation where Jacob does not necessarily need to re-raise to get all the chips in the middle here. And he's got a strong enough hand where if he re-raises, he might know that Yuchan is going to be folding a bunch. The question yeah. is, does he want to just call with J1 behind? Right. It kind of complicates things. That the dynamic changes when there's another person in this, so he's not heads up. So he's going to... He's going to make it 500, which really... Kind of announces to you, John, that he's uh, married to this hand. Yeah, this is a spot. I don't know that many players are going to have a four bet bluff here for half their stack. Yuchan is a very experienced cash game player. I think he's going to, unless he wants to gamble, and he might think that Jacob has kings. I think Yuchan is going to be making a fold here. Is this folding formation, Rudy? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> He's going for it. I didn't it. get the sense it was. I don't you know why. Yuchan wants to gamble. I think I like Jacob's move. I like the raise because... Jacob, do you have ace-ace or do you have ace-ace? Ace-ace. Fucking sick read on my part. Rory knows. Sick read. Rory knows. I love that we can get the uh, audio on that. That's so funny. Queen ball? Yeah, but you don't know what color, Rory. That's a good flop. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a terrible flop for uh, Jay Wan's hand. You got a club? Jacob, Jacob for Rager. You got a club or what? No. <laughs> Rager. <laughs> club or sweat? Oh, yeah. Six hated clubs here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you Chan drawing dead. Not even a sweat. Full on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
How is this ever good on the floor? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, honestly. Jake, don't go fucking yell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if it were you, I fold. I fold to you. Uh, on that board. Yeah. Like I did last time. Oh, that's funny. Jacob says if they would have got to the flop, um, he would have pulled to you, Sean, on that board. <laughs> I w see, I was going to say that earlier. I like that he raised their pre-flop because if you chunk could get to the flop, then there's different things can happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, just the ace's plan can just, can just crash and burn. It could. So there we go. Deuce is going to get the stacks right. Let's look at our chip count. Stacks are building. You love to see it. You love to see it. Look at this. Where, where, where do you, big blinds. Yeah, where do you go see cash games like this? 1,855 blinds for Chaz. 1,600 blinds for John George. Yuchan sitting on 1,267 blinds. Rudy, you know what I'll tell you? I don't know how much experience you have on the East Coast playing cash games at casinos and whatnot. But for me, there have been so many times I have been at a 2-5 game and yeah. you're just like craving some action. The games here in Texas are just great. Like even the 1-2 games are stimulating because people, sure. people are sitting with up to $4,000 at times, right? When you walk in here and if you're, you're, you don't know, you've never been here before and you're thinking, Oh, you have, these are all 1-2 tables? You know, this is going to be a boring night. Mm -hmm. That's a bad read. There's a lot of action. There's You've got deep stacks on multiple tables out there. They are not knitting it up out there. No, not at all. It, 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 it's quite common you can come here to Rounders, sit at a 1-2 game. Somebody's going to have, like I said, one to $4,000. And you could take your three, five hundred dollars, whatever you end up starting with, and spin it up. I've seen multiple people spin it up to two thousand, three thousand dollars. Sure. So let me know. Let, let Rude and I know if you plan on coming to uh, San Antonio or Rounders anytime soon. Come for a visit. We we happy to have you. Happy yeah. to have you. We're, this is a great place, great card room. As I mentioned earlier, professional dealers, the servers are great. Uh, lots to do around the city. Yep. You touched on. We'll take good care of your money, right, Rude? <laughs> Tell them. Do our best. I'm very anxious to see what the Lakers do at the deadline. Who knows? Maybe you want to come and play on a live stream. Yeah, no? definitely. If you want to come play on a live stream, you can head to roundercardclub.com. Go to the live stream like, yo, to go there, tab, Give submit your information, get on our mailing list. Reboot my guy. Is that it? I'm going to bet $150. Ooh. Is that yeah. $150? Very good. Go face card. Hell yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't I turn do. that. I open up the turn. <laughs> oh, we got some fresh air forces potentially there. Are those, uh, yeah, I was like, I had, I had like two hundred Maybe a gift? <laughs> Maybe a tip for one of the servers? Oh, uh, those are nice. <laughs> yeah, like some, potentially some customs or something, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you're like, chip stack. Feet open. <laughs> so looks like we're coming into uh, $80 in straddles. Laura's oh, got the 80 down. First up is a Bobby with the Queen Six suited. Oh, oh, oh. Good sir. It is on Yuchan. He's suited, semi connected. And better than that, it's Rory. Rory's in the hand. <laughs> Rory's still got money in there. Look at that. There he goes. <laughs> He's going to make it, what, 425 with eight high? <laughs> oh, 350. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Rory gives him a smile and looks at him. It was a, it was a, uh, and Rory has a suited ace. 
Rory knows he needs a call here. They're going. They're going to flop. Let the boys play. Yeah, uh, Rory going t-shirt bandana mode. Yep, ninja yeah. mode activated. Or you can triple or quadruple up. And then you're super happy. King Jack 8 rainbow board. There's a greater chance he'll be sad. Though. Pair of 8s for you, Chon. Let's check it out. You may not hear it sad. Let's see what size. I'm going to guess about 300. 250, 300 here for you, Chon. Yeah. Looks like it goes 275. Oh, 250. 250. You nailed it. Really? All right, all right. Rory's got a backdoor straight draw, flush draw, over card that could potentially give him the best hand. You don't want to see him uh, have like one or two Fiber. Two pair now for you, John. God. How good does this guy run? Let's see. He could still. He doesn't know. You have to be happy to see the two pair, but maybe Rory has a King Jack. You know, maybe Rory's still playing uh, Jacks here potentially. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see the sizing. How deep are they? So they got about uh, five or six k between the two of them. Twelve hundred in the middle. I think this is where Yuchan probably goes bigger now. Maybe uh, thousand nine hundred. Yeah, right in that range. Let's see if we're close, Rude. Seven, uh, seven, five, seven, fifty. Okay. No, but uh, <laughs> small half pot. <laughs> like he thought that that card was so good for him and was probably not good for Rory. I'm just trying to backwards engineer, it, trying to figure out his bet sizing, why it was, why he chose the smallish. Yeah. Well, he went about, uh, what was it, 850 into 750. 750 into 1250, so uh, about 60 70 percent there. So I think it is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't was too fine. bad. Yeah, yeah. Was, it wasn't too bad. I was there. thinking it was 750 into over 1500. Yeah, I think it was about 1200 on flop there, so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Bring it in for one and a draw. One twenty-five for the ace ten from Chaz. Ten nine suited. There you go. Oh my gosh, the kings again. This time with for Jesse. Jesse's gonna three bet his kings. He's gonna make it five fifty. One <laughs> Chaz gets out of the way. We have seen some big pairs tonight, though. We've not yeah, been short of big pairs. We've seen kings a lot. But yeah, you're right. Ah, painful. It hurts to fold the 10 9 of clubs and not see at least three. And just gets some carefree chips, though. True that, true that. There's our aggression frequency. Let's see the V pips tonight. How are we looking on V pips tonight? Well, we still got uh, Yu Chang up at the top. But okay. Chaz and Jacob are right there with him. We're, we're battling tonight. No single uh, digit V pips. We'd love to see that. Mm -hmm. People are in the streets. We've had some nice uh, card distribution to get some action so far. <laughs> Chaz with a premium. Can't take his eye off <laughs> the shoes, though. I looked up when you said Chaz with a premium. I was expecting like eight five of clubs or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, and Jacob. Chaz can turn any of those hands into premiums. That's true. Chaz raises. He makes it one fifty. Jacob's gonna three bet him. It's not very nice. When your neighbor right next to you three bets you. This is really good for me. Mm -hmm. cool. Rory muttering something under his breath before he folds. Would be all in punch gonna happen? I could see Chaz eyeing up Jacob's stack. Oh yeah, y'all. He's not pulling the trigger. All in. It's right there. Y'all in punch. Chaz goes all in for. 
9,000, but of course, Jacob only has uh, 1,700. Jacob didn't snap call. I definitely thought that he, he would have been three betting here to snap call, especially against uh, somebody like Chaz. Uh, okay. uh, but he's taking his time to think about it. He might let it go. He's like, okay, he does come for me. I don't think me. so. Right. I don't think so, yeah. Uh, Jacob is very happy to hear that. He asks if we have aces or kings, and chat says he has one of each. You're not seeing that? No. That's going to be a chop. Yep. There it is. They decide to uh, stop the guessing game. It's like, all right, you know, I have ace king. <laughs> Rory is really funny. <laughs> Rory is really funny. Is, Calling out the jack and it comes. Probably like ten bucks. for both. That was good hand. Yeah, well, I played that hand, dude. Yeah, a few bucks, a couple bucks there. Not bad. You don't feel terrible chopping there. You know, getting it in for. Uh, Thirty-five, uh, thirty-six hundred dollar pop. Yep, we got fifty-one hundred this hand. That's what happens there, uh, Bobby. You throw out that fifty, you know dang well Chad sitting to your left is pumping it up to whatever is the next. Yeah, Chad is just waiting, and he's not going to miss an opportunity, even if there are sneakers to be uh, looked at. He's still going to be aware of that. Chad could be—he he just hears that. If he knows the straddle's next to him, it's getting pumped up. There we go. See, look, I'll put—I'll put it on every time. Oh, Not your typical 5-5 five, five cash game. It's a Hawaiian style chicken. That sounds good. Hawaiian style chicken. You try that yet? Hmm. No. It's Bobby raising two fifty with a suited queen four. Poker traveler saying that would have been the knit of the week if he folded. He thought about it, I think, for at least a second. At least a second. He had no idea. I think he wouldn't have thought for a second if he knew said he was in the chat watching. You need <laughs> to get it in there. And by the way, did we mention seat open? Yeah. Bobby bets with his diamond draw. Yeah, Chaz draw. is planning to take it away on the Now. <laughs> he improves, though. He improves. Yeah. I think Chaz is out to uh, instill some pain. Oh, no. Bobby's just going to. Goes all in. Turn, yeah, there's. It's going to be tough for how much is out there. Chaz is not snap folding. He's going to think about it. And he has the best hand currently. This could be a crazy one. <laughs> did he call? He, he said, I think you got a flush draw, actually. And then he called. What? He did call, right? Chaz called. Oh, yeah, nice. he got that $5. <laughs> Chaz, like, I got a pair. Oh, the diamond gets there. The diamond gets there on Chaz. What a sick call by Chaz, though. Picking up a pair on the turn. Yeah. Knows that he's on a flush draw. Calls, but then, uh, unfortunately for Chaz there, the diamond comes in. I'm sure Bobby's happy about that, though. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> sick call by uh, Chaz, though. It was good. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, I was not expecting it. It was good. My... What was the deuce? I was hoping that was four too. Hmm? What's the four like? Nothing. There's our chip stacks for tonight. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. If you're enjoying the stream, please don't forget to hit the like and the follow button wherever you might be watching us. We're currently broadcasting on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. 
Make sure you check out our uh, Facebook page and join that. Exclamation point rounders in the chat. You are in the area. That is going to be uh, your main point of contact there for live updates, giveaways, and more. Drew, we have five people with a thousand big blinds or more. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Five out of eight. That's an action game. You love to see that. Some deep stacked, <laughs> well, in, until the straddles happen, but some like deep stacked, no limit Texas Hold'em. This is getting me uh, excited to play again, actually. <laughs> this is really nice for me to see. Yeah. Well, I mean, I actually belong there. I'm like a Three and four. Eight, eight for John George. Yeah. Makes it 150 to go. I, I told you, like, I am a member of it. I lost the car. Yeah, you did. I don't remember that. Well, well no, I do remember that. Yeah, because they had, like, that whole duo thing. Going yeah, on. why don't really we get the fucking hookup? Uh, you've, we've always <laughs> been playing at Lackland. Hey, why the fuck am I always... Like, I'm because always, always in charge of making tea time. Dude, yeah. I'm down to make a tea time at Lackland. Sure. Well, what would we pay? The full 500? Or, or are we... Bro, it would be a 65 a person. Oh. Aren't we out there every day? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got some golf bets being negotiated. How are you? Yeah, I was walking out of the car house the other night, and uh, Jacob was taking some swings up there at the golf simulator. Bucks. He's got a really nice golf swing. Yeah. He used to play on it's the golf for, team. It's told for him. like a uh, duo. So he's might, he might be working on some business deal right now. <laughs> we prop bet or... Yeah, they're discussing it now. All right, you chop. Well, we're gonna walk the chair tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might have been like a weird special. I might have misheard, but I think uh, some sort of five hundred dollar bet has been agreed on. I don't know if it's some sort of long drive or something like that, but that would be cool. I hope they let me sweat that one. They've been building Pebble Beach. The boys. Uh, walk the TPC membership to eight thousand. Maybe. Makes it I think it's Montero. What? Yeah, 80 grand initiate. That's not monthly. But that's not, that, that includes more than just the golf. We raised 300. That's become a member of the country club. Yeah. That's a rich, that's a rich piece of shit. We raised to 300 from Utah with the H-Jack. After J-Wan raised to 100 with the King-Jack. Um, I have no idea if they're... Your child's going to take down dead money in the pot. What's uh, up there, Joshua Roberts? This is John G. MVP. What's up there, Joshua? Because, I mean, the normal route... Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. 30, I think. Hello to yeah. Dad2147 watching us on Twitch. What's up, Dad? Shout out to you and the other lurkers. Thanks for hanging with us tonight. Hope you're enjoying the live cash game action we got. Some very exciting hands tonight. Lots of big I pairs, huh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of pre-flop action, a lot of three betting and four betting. Straddles. Oh, um, that's if you play 500, right? But you four. pay 250? Well, no, I paid 500. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I mean, you're only saving 65 dollars. These are aggression so frequency, Rory. Yeah, yeah. Down toward right. the bottom. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it takes eight bucks. Well, that's it. You're a golfer, you're playing. Where is the four rounds a day? Fuck no. I rarely get out. No, I'm saying the people that are, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Yeah. 110. 7 minutes, 1.89. 1, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5. Ace jack for Jesse. Good enough for the 110. To bring it in. Looks like Jacob's got something. What's he got? King 9? He's going to do some battle here. And we're going heads up to the flop. Uh, Ace-Jack versus King-9. Yes, Fair fight. Neighbor on neighbor fight. Let's see how that works out. Jesse in the lead, but Jacob's got some outs. He's got an over card that could give him the best hand. Queen gives him the straight. I heard the call. Oh. Jesse bets about third pot. Easy call for Jacob. We're going to the turn. Jacob looking for a king or a queen to make the best hand. That is not it. It's a four. Four of clubs. No one wants to see that card. Actually, I guess Jesse's not really mad at it. Oh, Jesse's going to mix in a check on this turn. So Jacob gets a free shot at making the best hand, 
And he does get there. He does get there. So I think uh, Jesse was checking back the turn probably to do some bluff catching on the river or to uh, he had decided that his hand is a two-street hand. He's going to bet flop and river. Jacob checks with the best hand. Let's see if Jacob or uh, Jesse goes for a value bet here. It's tough. He's only really targeting some worse jack X, maybe some queen jack. Queen jack actually chops now, so he's kind of just chopping mostly. He does check. That makes sense. Oh, wow, and he immediately knew. That was, that was almost like Jesse knew before Jacob even showed his hand. He was pretty confident. Yeah. Well, if he's putting uh, Jacob on the flop, so I'm check, check. Yeah, Jacob could still have a 10, Jacob bets the river with a 10. Checks there with a lot of missed stuff. Tough to value bet there. I think that's a nice check by Jesse, actually. By Jesse? Yeah. Yeah, uh, they took my and he had enough showdown value. If he had, if he had, you know, seven high, he might bet it. Yeah. If he had nothing, for sure. But he had something. Ian Sheriff's in the chat. What's up, Ian? <laughs> Wants to know how far ahead are MTTs posted on Poker Atlas? Right now on Poker Atlas, we are scheduled out about a month in advance. All of our big tournaments coming up in two weeks. Uh, actually, a week. Eight days, yeah. we have the $400 well, 2023 drink, uh, Poker Masters here at to, uh, Rounders. Drink, 200K guaranteed. Uh, trophy event. Uh, it's going to take I you uh, three days four. to win that. <laughs> day ones run the from the 15th to the 18th. Day two is uh, Sunday on the 19th. And uh, then day three, we will be live streaming the final table, February 20th at 5 o'clock <laughs> Texas time, 6 o'clock East Coast time, 3 o'clock West Coast time. And in this tournament, we got 30-minute levels, and then day two, we bump it up to 40-minute levels. So if you're in the area, traveling, come yep. visit us. I will be in there donking around, Rudy. Yeah, that's a $400 buy-in, so, I mean, that's a very reasonable price to get your share of a $200,000 guarantee. Yep. And actually, fun fact, since we have been starting to report to Hendon Mob, mm -hmm. We have a lot of players here who are building up their live poker profile. And currently, John George, sitting at our table tonight, is in the lead. Seven caches. Yeah. At Rounders, he has he's, the most so he's far. He's done a really good job. Uh, he hasn't been here a real long time, but, man, he is always on the going deep in tournaments. Yep. He is, uh, he is a good player. Very smart. I got to catch up with... John George, we went up to uh, Oklahoma to play the circuit. That's number six. I would guess, I would take the over. Got to pick his brain a bit. Very smart Pokemon. It's an interesting flop here for the guys in this hand. Jesse flops two pair, and Yuchon's open ended. Jesse with a good, good size bet. 800 in a, into 1280. That was 2,000 in the pot. wondering whether or not he can just wrestle it away from him. But Jesse still has 3,000 behind. Yuchan definitely thinks his draw is live. Yeah. Even if he hits the bottom end of it, nine is fine. The ace is fine. Safe turn card though for Jesse. What do we got? Twenty eight hundred in the middle. Jesse got thirty one hundred behind. I wonder if he mixes in something tricky here with a check, or he might just end up going a little under half pot. Decides to go all in. Just shoves. It's a pot size bet. Yep. Nice hand, Jesse. Just in case you turn ahead of 10. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's, it's kinda with the one-to-one -one one there. Basically, he, Jesse had, what, 3,100 behind. There was about 2,900, 2,900 in the middle. Yep. It's like, what else are you going to do? It's awkward. I don't even, like, you bet four or 500. You're giving all the draws a great price to continue, which, when they miss, is kind of nice. But you also, you want to make those hands indifferent. And four or $500 bet is not going to be making you, Chan, indifferent there. He's just going to be calling all day. So yeah. I think Jesse identified with that and uh, decided his best play was all in. Try to stack the king ten. Try to stack the king jack. Yep. Queen jack. Hopefully, you know. 
You know, we were talking about, the uh, question was about tournaments coming up. We do have a Thursday tournament. It's a $20,000 guarantee called the Double Trouble. This is an interesting one. There's a $300 buy-in. Um, you know what? We're going to get back to that in one second. I'm going to interrupt my description of that tournament to do to describe what's happening on the screen. We do have Jax for Rory. I don't have my phone Think kind of a surprising fold from Seven, Bobby four, with five, Queen Jack suited. Seven. Jordan is what, 69? Eight, nine, fold. Hey, Jack's going to jock it. Go behind the rail. 61. Well, as it turns out, no action for Rory on that. So back to the Thursday tournament, Drew, there's that, uh, that double trouble, which is where you get a rebuy chip, right? If you bust, it's a $300 buy in. If you bust, you get another stack free. You don't have to pay for it. Yes. All you got to do is just turn in your rebuy chip. Very, and, very cool, right? Yep. And then, um, so you'll get a starting stack if you if you bust before the re the registration period. Um, if you bust after the registration period is over, you will be given 10 big blinds, and it depends on where, where the, where blind level we're at. That will determine how many stat, or how many chips you're going to get, but it'll be 10 big blinds of the next level, all right? Yeah. Now, if you make it to the cash, so 20% of the prize pool is going to be withheld to be paid out to all the people who have one of these rebuy chips unused, so still in their stack. So if one person has, only one guy is remaining with the rebuy chip unused, he's going to get that whole portion of the purse, 20% of the prize pool, or it'll be distributed among the number of people who have those rebuy chips. Like yep. Ball, like interesting. Right yes, it's very, very cool. So basically, the you oh, the can re-enter the tournament for free. Yep. Depending yeah. on when you use it, it could affect your strategy, really, because you are going to be able to hang on to it and potentially cash in that chip for some extra money. Right. Or you will be able to maybe play in a situation a little bit aggressive. Like, for instance, if you have 10 to 15 big blinds or so, in a spot and you maybe decide to jam all in a little bit uh, lighter on the button, then you could just get back in for free. And it yeah. really doesn't affect your chip position because you're going to get, like you said, 10 big blinds of whatever the next level is. Yeah. Unless, of course, you're jamming in with 100 big blinds. <laughs> of course. Yep, yep. <laughs> and then you go down to 10 big blinds. But, yeah, that's that, that strategy, that part is up to you. How you choose to, uh, to proceed with that in mind That'll determine, uh, be determined by you. But you've got options. It's a very cool tournament, different. I don't think anybody has really seen or played a tournament like this. So myself, I'm going to be uh, looking forward to playing it and kind of feeling it out. See how it goes. He went in 07 with Cleveland, and he went in three straight years with Cleveland. Right. Six straight years with Final Fantasy. And then this, as this hand comes to a conclusion, that'll give me an opportunity to go right into the next tournament. Yes. Or, well, we have others. We have one. I think we have a free roll. We've got our, our matinees. I don't want to brush over those, but the 12 o'clock start, uh, start time, uh, that you get a free lunch with. I think this week we're running, offering $100. It's a $100 buy-in for the matinee one, I believe. Um with a, a $2,000 guarantee. So the matinee, actually, uh, we're keeping the free lunch, I believe it's nine, but we're going to change it coming up here. We're going to try something a little bit different. It's going to be a 1K guaranteed free roll at noon, and you get free lunch as well. So we're still going to have the matinee noon tournament Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but uh, we're just going to make an adjustment, see how the players like it. Okay, good, good. And then Saturday, we've got that $40,000 guarantee, the Saturday Splash. We're going to be running that one for a while. That seems to have a very good response. $300 buy-in as well, uh, 30,000 chips starting stack, and 30-minute levels. That one starts at 6 o'clock. He went for eight years consecutively from 2011 to 2018. On Saturday. So there is a, it's Saturday at 4. 4, I was going to say, yeah. The Saturday at 4 o'clock is the Saturday Splash. There is a satellite at 1 o'clock on Saturday. It's a satellite free roll guaranteeing four seats. So if you want to try, this is something that Rounders does really well. It has these really cool free roll tournaments where people can try to get in. And just pay the club access fee for that day. 
you get your first 12,000 ships for free, and you can try to spin it up. There's also satellite at 2 o'clock on Friday. Once the weekend gets a little bit closer, come on over to Rounders, try to satellite into uh, one of our newer tournaments this year, the Saturday Splash, 40K guarantee. Yeah, he's going to tonight's game, and if they doesn't bring it to next game. They actually don't like each other. It'd be interesting to see their interaction. Chosen two <laughs> tenths is queens and jacks all in. We had queens and jacks all in a uh, little bit ago between Yuchan and oh, Chaz. $10,000 pot. It was massive. We did, yep. Like that was awesome. Boys. Chaz had the queens. That's so sick. half is like the so only top 20 player in the NBA. Way better than top 20. I mean, he's, the way he's playing this season, top five. Rory and Yuchan have been going at it. <laughs> Look at this. Rory, that was a five bet, right? Like to seven hundred, or was that a four? Bet? That we, is we were, a, I think five four, bet. It's a four bet to seven hundred. Yuchan's is a here? five bet, all in. Nice. Rory is just. These guys are beasts, man. Five thousand dollars with a seven suited. The fact that Rory what is, going is on? counting his chips and thinking about this. They've been back and forth tonight, Rory and Yuchan. If you guys have not been watching, you guys got to pay attention. <laughs> missing it. Three bet, four bet, five bet. These two, I walked in. I said it earlier. I walked in. They're they're good friends. They're up the front. They are at the uh, simulator playing golf together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get on the table, and they're still going at it, man. These guys are going harder than anyone else. I don't see how he can call. He just. You would swear they did not like each other. These guys battle hard. I love that. <laughs> He's so... <laughs> That's fantastic. That's great poker there. That's just knowing your opponent. We've been seeing them going back and forth. Yuchan thinks that Rory's going to have some light four bets there, and he's five bet jamming all in for yeah. over a thousand big blinds with the A7 of hearts. Actually had the best hand slightly there. Yeah, he did. Bluffing with the best hand, kind of. Yeah, he had But, yeah, that's some good poker there. That's some good poker there between uh, both of them. Rory just can't call. Yuchan identifies and jams. So, honestly, you know, props to both. This is, it's like each of them are using the, their, their, their friend's aggression against themselves. I'm trying to use, you know what I'm saying? I, I think, Rude, I think this is a past our pay grade. This is above <laughs> our pay grade here, what's going on right now. You know, we're lucky to be sitting here on the sidelines just commentating and looking at the cards. It, yeah, just kind of uh, safe from the, from, from, the, from the splash zone or the war zone. Yeah. A lot of players seem to have that, like, I'll go play in that opinion, or that air seem to have that opinion. It's hard not to believe them that they were playing against us. If you look at Bird's crew of staff, they look identical. Bird? Yeah. Rory, Rory's rummaging for more chips. Larry. The best thing I've heard is, for one game, I keep doing that to me, reach on. A little bit. One. The shot to save your life, you take Bird. No, you take Tegan Dollar. Oh, yeah, that's how you have to be. They are asking today. So I, I was thinking, you know, if four, three, two, so Rory raised Yuchan three bet, Rory four bets, but if Rory had just called mm -hmm. instead of four betting, he doesn't fold. Then they get to a flop, and then I don't know. It's just I mean, I'm saying that like the aggression. It worked against Rory that time. Yeah, kind of with the hand that Yuchan had as well, because he had a hand that. Thank you, ma'am. Is a good candidate to uh, go for the five bet bluff there. Rory, Rory had the ace five, right? Yeah, yeah, Rory had the ace five suited. So yeah. Rory had a good four bet hand versus him. You know, blocking yeah. blocking some of the hands that uh, Yuchan is going to be five betting all in with, and yeah. it vice versa goes back and forth both ways. You know, it's like, oh, he's not going to have aces here. I have ace five suited. I, um, I'm going to get him to fold some stuff or go to the flop. Maybe I can get him to fold the ace jack. I've got ace five suited, but mm -hmm. Yuchan just doesn't care. He just you know, the devil may care. Ace seven all in. Yep. Now what you gonna do? Yep. Out. Too much. Good stuff though, huh? Yeah, we got some great poker going tonight.
If you're enjoying it, please don't forget to hit the like and the follow buttons. Shout out to everybody lurking on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, anyone lurking in the in the area here on the northwest side of town, San Antonio, uh, if you want to pop in and have, take your shot at some of these guys, have a little little round on the table. If you think you can mix it up with these guys, we do have a seat open. The best player in the NBA today ever for me, I think. The best rebounder. How how common is now like twenty and twenty? Like it used to like five ten years ago. It's pretty common still. You might see Jacob with the, the overpair to the really? board. Yeah. We don't know what Chaz like, has. Jack Link's guess his hand moment. He's thinking here, though. 755 in the middle. Jacob's got 1950 behind. Chaz goes all in. I think Chaz has eight deuce. And Jacob immediately folds his jacks. Wow, I would have loved to have seen that one. I think Chaz got away with one there. If I had to guess. That felt like Chaz got away with one. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. But then again, you call and he's got tens. Yeah, or tens full. That's, you know. Again, that's the thing. You never know what <laughs> he's gonna have. That's the thing. That's the. That's the danger. That's why he's dangerous on the tables. Are you ready for shots or what? Yeah, I said yeah. Take a beer. Beer. You want tequila again or what? I'm old. I'll do anything. Take so you like, what? my body. <laughs> I'll drink anything. Anytime, anytime. My body's probably. Jesse, what beer you want? I'll take a mule if they have a mule. A mule? You want to go Moscow mule? Yeah, that's what he's talking about, I think. I, I'll, I'll take a lifting mule. We got Jesse drinking. Get it with Josh. Jesse, go. Yeah. Jesse goes, is one of those guys. He'll go out to the WSOP and spend weeks and weeks out there during the summer. Tournament player. I'm ordering around because is uh, Jesse mostly a tournament player? Play cash games a lot too. No, I I don't. He doesn't. He used to come a lot more often and play on streams, uh, mostly cash. But he is a tournament. Grinder, so he's both. Yeah. Are you drinking huge? Rory, you got a. You got a whiskey meal? I got a whiskey meal. But you want a shot too? No. Uh, so four tequilas. Four tequilas. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, Chaz table negotiations, getting the drink orders lined up. <laughs> I think he probably felt like there might have been a little bit of a lull in the energy and wants to pick it up a little bit. You know what? I think Chaz also just like enjoys having a good time. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Wants Absolutely. He wants to keep the party going. Yeah. He, he Chaz is the person who gets the people going. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rory lamenting yeah, his <laughs> his interactions with Ror with uh, Yuchan so far. <laughs> oh wow! Look at this. Thank you. Oh, I was like, is this a non-straddled pot? <laughs> One of the few that we've seen tonight. You're right. Uh, Jesse coming in uh, for the raise. Fifteen, I think. 30, 35, okay, there we go. J1 suited ace. Chaz suited 9 4. <laughs> Why not? I'm not sure it would have mattered if it was suited or not. <laughs> 35 bucks, Chaz is in there. He'll try to break some hearts. Flop something big. Yeah, he's got drinks to pay for. Not very PC of you, but give him a six and see what happens. It's not six a bad, of clubs. Yeah, not a bad uh, flop for nine four clubs. There's a lot of good turn cards that can come for him. That's one of them. There's one of them. He's gonna have a shot at seventy five and one ten for Chaz with the flush draw. Jesse does pick up a pair. Oh, you don't say that or what? It's not gonna be going anywhere. <laughs> and J1 likely going to be releasing here. I don't like, I don't like the, the thought of that, of an idea. Hello, Drew. J1 you are wrong. has evil intentions. That's the only thing I can figure. Why would but you when you have other options but that are the exact same that don't bother? It's all about he is not in position. Oh. oh, you can say it. 
Raised. It's going to be interesting. I wonder how Jesse's going to interpret this raise. It is pretty strong. Check it on in the flop. There's a flush draw. Maybe putting uh, J1 on a slow played set. Nice play by J1. Well done, yeah. I didn't see that coming. Did you see that coming? I did not see that coming. I thought he was going to fold also. Um, and then I, I just from his motion, I, I, maybe I just missed it. I thought he just called. And I thought he was going to try to do something on the river. But no, I think his way is way better. Yeah. That's I love that. There wasn't all that much interest in the in the hand on the flop. Then the turn changed. It changed the nature of the of the of the, of the, the board, right? It changed the hand. So he is representing that that helped him. Yeah, that may be an interesting two pair. I think mostly what he's repping there is a set. They still played on the flop. I think that's the thing he's representing the most. Potentially a nice combo draw, picked up on the turn, maybe like Jack Ten of Clubs. Mm -hmm. well, straight draw and a flush draw. Three. Brings a raise from Rory. 20. Ace King suited for Bobby. Brings a $60 a three bet. And Rory will call him as it folds around to him. Very live cards, both suited. Truly, what am I benefiting? Two hearts on the flop, and I know a player who has two hearts in his hand. Thing is, he checks. Bobby catches up, but we're probably about 50 50. 35 65. Bobby is the favorite right now. A lot of outs for Rory, though. You can see up top at least 12 outs. I really think most of the time the who's calling their friend Lander, who's calling their friend Lander, idiot. Bad. Most of the time, it's on the ground. Bobby like, gonna like, try to let his opponent bad. continue to bluff. They are making yeah. so he, he, he shaved, too. Just calls with the ace yeah. king. Don't blame him. Red deuce. Like Wrong shape. See if Rory wants to fire again. Does not. Shuts it down. Check check. Bobby did not even think for a second about <laughs> betting that river. I would I would have uh, taken some time there and definitely contemplated a bet, thinking my ace king is going to be good there a lot of the time when my opponent doesn't continue after betting the prior street. Seems like Bobby was happy with the pot there. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna check this down. He don't want to be in a spot where he bets the river and gets raised. Yeah, that's the he, what. What do you do with ace king? Yeah, top pair, top kicker, and. Oof. And he's definitely been paying attention to the table tonight. He knows Rory's capable of some stuff. So you don't want to bet there and be put in a spot. You can't fault him for that. I don't believe we've had a bomb pot in a while. Maybe they've decided to uh, ease off of those. Yeah, I think we had some uh, some technical, some yeah, graphical things going on with the bomb pots earlier. The game definitely feels a bit smoother now. Mm -hmm. It was it, it was a bit slower earlier, but we've had some great pots already. I think a lot of the time, uh, these players here in Texas do like their PLO bomb pots. And it can definitely spice up the game, 100%. This game, even just playing Hold'em, though, has been quite spicy. Yeah. We just saw with that ace three raise there from uh, J1. The four and five betting from Rory and Yuchan. Unless they didn't update it. But I feel like they're going to be auto updating. I just told my friend, I'm going to be very good. He hasn't scored. Good luck. I'll smell the end for a long time. I used to do that stuff all the time, and then I thought about it. All right, it, so we're like, going to go heads up to the flop here. We got side, like, John George like, versus Yu Chan. I'm typically calling my friend an idiot and me thinking I'm smart out of him. Oh, you're good? Yeah, you're probably right. 
Drinks have arrived, Rude. I don't care. Mm -hmm, I see that. It's crazy watching that. It makes me want to have a drink. It's so it's so weird how that is when you're just like watching something on TV. I know uh, on Wednesday nights when I host my home game on my personal stream. Yeah. Whatever I'm eating, I'll talk about it. People are doing the same thing. They're like, oh man, I want some noodles now. I want some pizza now. I want. Power suggestion. Yeah. So why bother people like that? You don't have to. My whole argument. Okay. I get bothered when somebody cuts me off. I'm like, I don't think people cut people off because it's funny. No, sometimes my argument is don't cut people off. You guys should talk about gun control. I know. We're talking about gender fluidity or something. I think that's an interesting conversation. I don't get mad at anybody for their there are cumulative winnings. John's still leading. He's up 5,700. Nice night for old John George. Chaz up 2,800. Jesse up a bit, along with Jacob and Bobby. And you know what's cool? Every time I watch John George play, I don't know if everybody in the chat knows, but John George is doing a bit of a poker challenge where he has to play every single day this year, but I think he gets 10 days off, and he's yeah. got a 50K bankroll that he started with. He is the eSports plug on Twitter, and he updates daily how he does in his sessions, where his bankroll's at, if he's had a good day, bad day. So it's been very fun to watch. If you're interested in something like that, you can check him out on Twitter. It's at the eSports plug. All right, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers, everyone. Cheers, boys. Cheers, people. Chat. Hey, Rudy and I are going to cheers with my pen cheers and the marker. Uh, oh, cheers. Take what you want. Water. Water. That's <laughs> cool. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> We are yeah, sitting back donation. here in the commentary suite, just hanging out, watching but these guys have a, yucking it up, no, drinking it up, it. having a good time, oh, having a ball. Yuchan yeah. versus Rory, round seven. Oh my gosh! Oh, Buckle up, Rory. I think Rory's going to get this one. Rory's <laughs> Rory's due, due to get the best of Yuchan here. <laughs> At some point. And the thing is, let, let's see what happens. This is. Come on. It's going to kind of suck for Rory if he wins, but Yuchan doesn't pay him any money. <laughs> also, yeah, you know. I was say Yuchan's <laughs> winning all the big ones, and then <laughs> yeah. Rory takes the uh, the smaller ones. But he does. Yuchan does lead out for 110, but I think Rory immediately raised him. He, Rory's still dealing with that tequila shot. Seems like it. Luchan's got some backdoor draws, backdoor flush draw, straight draw, over card. Looks like he's not done. I love watching these two go at it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, I love seeing these two play now. Yeah. Should we, should we turtle it up? How, oh my gosh, this is really good for Luchan, I think. The question is gonna be here if Luchan, uh, he did check. Is Rory going to check and get a little sneakier? Is he going to try to bet and target a 10, King Jack, Jack 9? <laughs> Looks like he's carving a bet out. Think at about 900, 8,900. Maybe a full pot, 1,100, based on how many black chips we see him uh, shuffling right there. He's going to size up even a little bit more. Eight, not on the first sixty. Take. No, they're doing some really high take games. Oh yeah, Mariano. I didn't know if you were eight either. sixty is correct. Rude's done really? it again. Just well, king high for you, Chan. Uh, and this channel is probably gonna be on. So yeah, yeah Chan's gonna be on every hand. So get three hundred, two hundred. I think this is going to be the end of the hands for you, Chan. Man, we would have thought that with the eighty-seven of hearts though <laughs> a little bit ago. What? What? He said words. Oh, he said full. Oh, I thought he said all in for a second, I did, too. too. I was like, man. And Rory's like. What a boss. Let's see if he shows Got him. one on you. Show him the jack. Got to show him the jack. I don't think he shows him the queen. You can't do that to a buddy. No. You can't do that to a buddy. He's definitely not showing the queen. <laughs> Probably 
Put one down for the Rory man. Got one. What's up there? Always cracked. Hanging out with us on Twitch. What's up, Preston? Tonight. Preston's in there. They let you watch uh, poker live streams now, Preston? Is that what's going on? Preston got some time. <laughs> New dad over there. He's played on yeah. the stream a bunch with us. He's on the sidelines for now. Yeah. We miss you, Preston. Hope things are going well with the newborn. Congratulations again, buddy. <laughs> nice little uh, Taylor Swift reference there. I appreciate that, Preston. You know that? I'm the problem. It's me. Yeah. No, no, I'm not familiar that's, with that. That's, that's a little past rude. <laughs> I got you, though, Preston. I appreciate the reference. I recognize Taylor I Swift like as a as a <laughs> great talent. It's mm -hmm. just... Not your style. <laughs> yeah, not my style. Not your style. I love that, dude. How Top pair for you, Chan. Rory's got an over pair. Jacob has two over cards and some backdoor draws. Calls of the 100. Uchan's <laughs> in there as well. Three way battle to the turn. Ooh. Hello, 10. Spicy, spicy. Yuchan does not have uh, the second best hand anymore. Goes to the third best, but he's got to draw to the straight. Rory has an open ended, and Jacob now has the best hand. I mean, he's still got years left. He's not retiring next year. Well, he's going to play with his son. Yeah. 250. About so he, he half pot guys, from Jacob. It'd be interesting to see what Yuchan does because he does still have Rory behind him. Mm -hmm. Heads up, I do not think that he's going anywhere. Three-handed, he decides he's going to stay as well. What are stacks here? 1585. This would be it's a little bit more... Difficult with Yuchan in there, but it'd be an interesting spot to see if Rory raised. But he's just calling. Okay. When's it next year he drops? Twelve and a half in the pot now. Board pairs. Sevens. Draws missed. I haven't heard anything good about LeBron's pair. Like, I think LeBron's board. Oh, they call it on. Jacob decides he's good with the pot as is. Checked to Jacob, and Jacob checks behind. Jacob's going to pick up a nice pot there. It's up to 28-25. Jacob had got down uh, under 1,000 there at one point. Doubled up with the aces versus Yuchan's ace-10 yeah. suited. And has been slowly climbing since. There he is. He's up 1,100 right now. Oh, oh yeah, cry. Play on the floor and cry. All this fucking cry, man. Oh, wow. yeah, All we heard is fucking was... That's what people complain about. In hockey, they yeah, knock out your... Yeah, pre-flop raise uh, stats. Yuchan leading the way. The real question is the V-pip here. Because the game plays, uh, it just plays different. Here we go. Because even some of the, the V-pip isn't even, I think, fully accurate with some of the straddles that are going on. So you can basically add some percents onto that. King of Spades will be the burn card, not coming. It was uh, inadvertently revealed. Oh, he gave it up, dude. Goes to them. Good one. Yeah. Ah. Need to learn to shake it off. Which is one thing that Rory apparently is really good at, shaking it off. Mm -hmm. After those, those battles that he's had with you, John. Is that a Taylor Swift? Reference from you? Shake, yeah. Shake it off. Well, you, uh, uh, Ghost of M actually threw it out. Uh, he threw he it at me. He threw it at me. I caught it and I threw it back. Okay. Nice job, Ghost. Assist Ghost of M in the chat. Thanks again, Ghost, for everything. Appreciate it. Nice assist for our man Rudy there. He 
state raises one fifty. Oh, exactly. Is that, the, is that the name the blonde dude that was sitting? Uh, no, what's that guy's name? Kind of like old taller than me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah but heavier side. Okay, okay what's the short yeah, blonde yeah, kid's name that was sitting on the floor? It was playing the five. He's sitting on the five five game. Yeah, he wears his hat backwards too. He plays that essay typically. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Kyle. No, Kyle. No, it's name. You know who I'm talking about. I know who you're talking about. He was wearing a hat. Yeah, I know you're he talking about. He always plays that SA. Like, I used to play with him all the time at SA. Yeah, he said he plays with Nick Carter. Uh, top pair, top I'm kicker for John. J1 pretty much misses this flop, but he's going to go ahead and lead out. Quick call from John George. With half a bomb pot again. He might have run back up a little bit at the end. Because he was getting charged for a while. King of Diamonds changes King. the complexion of the board somewhat. Garrett's going back to the oh, significantly. <laughs> Is he really? Dollar game? Dollar game. Dollar game. Uh, they one not done yet. Continues to fire. Sean George says take too long. Makes the call. Let's see if J1's gonna. You think play. he's gonna fire the river, Rudy? Well, I, didn't know if he'd go back I uh, it depends. Uh, well, still, I think if it's a club, he may continue. Uh, oh, seven. I think he. Uh, probably just gonna shut it down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's just looking for chips. I don't. I don't expect. With how quickly John was calling behind him, I think he may just shut it down. That's my read. Looks like he wants to bet. He's reaching for a stack. That looks like a 1.7k bet. He's not ready to quit. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred is my new guess. Wrong again. Nine hundred. Nine hundo. So he bets about seventy percent pot. Puts John George in a spot here with his ace jack. John might be thinking that it's less likely, considering he has an ace, that Jaywan's going to have a hand like ace queen. So let's take a look. Let's watch J1. He's uh, put out this bet. He's obviously bluffing. You can see that. He turned around and reached for his beer, took a drink. He doesn't want to be statue, you know, freezing, and he's uncomfortable. So, oh, gets it through. John George folds the best hand, and he shows the four. John George does not like to see the four there. He knows he the likely yeah. folded the best hand unless J1 had to be king four there. That's pretty much it. So aggression wins again, Rude. It does. It does. And you know what? I think J1, he's not playing all of the pots, but it looks like there he was like, I'm playing this pot and I'm going to play it aggressively. Maybe he understands his image at that point and he gets John George to fold the best hand. <laughs> You ever do well, that thing where you career, like, like you imagine you just give yourself a hand oh, yeah. and it yeah. isn't what you have in front of you? You just say, okay, oh, this wow. hand I have ace oh, queen, I I and that's how you play the hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, as if you do have that hand. How? Because you're gonna bet, you're gonna act and do everything in accordance to the way that you would do it if you had ace queen, even though you have like you know, six, eight, or something. You know, there is. I think it, there's a saying out there, I mean, but it goes something <laughs> like, I remember hearing, in order for your bluffs to work, you have to believe them as well. So, to tell yourself, oh, I actually have, you think that you have aces or ace queen or a hand that you're saying there, you kind of have to believe it in order, I feel like, to sell it. Yeah. That way you don't put yourself in a spot where your subconscious or your body starts reacting differently because you're nervous, but if you even lie to yourself, well enough and make yourself believe make that yourself you have that. Believe it. Yeah, yeah, you might so be able to uh, project that energy. So I like that. And, and I've definitely done that myself in the so past. To a fault, sometimes. <laughs> John, uh, Chaz with 7,800 in front of him and John George with 7,500 now after he took a bit of a hit. Uh, let's say that like the banker has like a four and the player has like a five, right? J1 away from the table momentarily. I imagine he walked over to go tell his buddy about the bluff he just pulled off. <laughs> Might need to breathe a little bit after that one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 
if the player gets up six or And they never hit seven again. I've only played uh, Bakrat a couple times, you know, mainly on uh, I moved Bovada and fucking. I moved to that game because I got tired of. I don't know how to play Bakrat. Will you teach me one day? Bakrat? No. I could teach you who to ask about yeah. playing <laughs> Bakrat. I think it's. I think it's a very, very simple game to learn the rules to. I mean, I've played it. I think you, you have to try to make a nine by adding your cards up. Um, and then you can either decide whether the banker is going to make the nine or you are. That's what you do. And basically, who's going to get closer to a nine? It's a coin flip. Yeah. Is it the banker or is it the player that's going to get closer to a nine? I probably shouldn't have even given that much of an explanation because... Like, that's all I know about it. <laughs> I've hung around with uh, Poker Traveler as he's played yeah. before yeah. at the Venetian a couple a couple times. Um, and then another friend uh, of ours, uh, GV, who plays here in the at Rounders, he plays a lot of Bokra. Rory goes with the 240 bat after rivering his straight. And... Uh, Chaz has top pair, no, pair jacks, and a queen kicker. <laughs> he calls. Doesn't even look up. He just. Yeah. You know, you can you can tell if you've been around the game for a while. These guys know in some spots when they just kind of have to pay. You see, like reluctantly, Chaz throws the chips in, and there's times where they know, okay, expecting to lose. they're right? expecting yes. to lose, but they know that you kind of need to make these calls in With some spots. Yep. Also known as side calls. Yeah. <laughs> the old side call. A crying call. What's up there, Ace TV on Twitch? How's it going? We are in uh, San Antonio, Texas at Rounders Card Club. My name is Drew, also known as Bet on Drew, with my co-commentator tonight, Rude, a.k.a. Rudy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Thanks for hanging with us tonight. If you are enjoying the stream, please do not forget to hit the follow button. We are paying attention to the chat. If you have any questions oh, yeah. about the Rounders cash games, tournaments, live stream, anything, feel free to uh, give Rude or myself a shout. <laughs> and you can find out more about our card club, roundersCardClub.com. And uh, check in on the action on Poker Atlas for information on the cash games that are running and tournaments that are upcoming. Panda. Oh, my God. Panda Man. Rex South Park. Rex South Park at all? No. What? What do you always do? That's stupid. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. Reminder, this coming... Week, we are going to be starting next Wednesday, the first flight of the 2023 Poker Masters here at Rounders Card Club. $400 buying, 200K guaranteed, 30 and 40 minute levels. Streamed final table here on Rounders tonight, plus a trophy. Very nice trophy, too. Mm -hmm. It is, it is a nice one. He is excited. He's flying No, no, he never won a big pot. He probably just wants to win a big pot with it just like in the last round. Yeah. Oh, it's a little jungle. Oh, oh, yeah, same thing. 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 Same Rory has no cards, so he'll be relaxing <laughs> this time around. Yeah, Jacob chooses to get out of the way. Tough one there. Jack-10 suited. I think Jacob's in the streets, but Jack-10 offsuit. Yeah. We're going to see folded a lot. 
What's up there, five kids? Oh, hanging out with us on YouTube. Yeah, he's literally drunk. What's up, what's up? How's the Bahamas? It was amazing. It was amazing. But I am back in San Antonio, man. It felt so good to sleep in my own bed, and I cannot wait to play another tournament here at Rounders. Mm -hmm. You know of any tournaments going anytime soon here? <laughs> well, we got a big one coming up. This $200,000 guarantee. The Poker Masters is the one that we just talked about. Yep. There's that trophy we referenced also. Mm -hmm. And there you can see the day one's... Uh, starting feb February 15th, that's next Wednesday, all the way through the 18th, and then day two will be Sunday, February 19th. Is that right? Or is that Saturday? No, you're right. You're right. Day two is okay. Sunday, February 19th, and then Monday, Monday is the 20th, our final is President's table. Day. Ah, okay. That's what's up. How about this? Kings again. On, on the table. Let's see, though. Bobby has not been the most active player at the table, so let's see if he can find a way to get paid off with Kings. What he has to Looks do like John George is going to hang out. Queen Jack suited. Don't blame him. Yu Chan with the ace queen. So he's going to get two customers. I wonder if Yu Chan will find a three bet. He's processing the information right now. You can see him looking at both players, eyeing up stacks. And this looks like a Yu Chan raise, correct? Yes, sir. Five. Bobby is licking his chops here with the Kings. Do I still have them? Yep. One red, one black. This is an interesting spot where I think it is really important to be aware of your image. And if Bobby decides to re-raise here, I think he's going to get a lot of folds in this situation. But it's also really, really tough to... Yeah, he's all in. It's yeah. really, really tough to be comfortable flat in kings with uh, just the variety of hands that these players could be playing. Yu Chan knows. <laughs> so it's very, very tough there. The best case scenario, I think, when he jams there, he shows the kings, of course, is that he has ace king, and then Yu Chan's ace queen is still dominated. Right. Yeah, <laughs> especially that player, right? He hasn't played very many hands, as you referenced. Oh, um, that's that's the tough thing sometimes because you know what? In cash games, if you are a tournament player out there watching these streams, cash games, deep stack cash games, you are supposed to tighten up a little bit. But there is a line because if you tighten up too much, then you're not going to get paid off in – some situations where you have some big hands and you really want to get paid off. Right. And then the other thing is that when you are super deep, you want to try to have some uh, some hands that uh, that you can sneak up on people with, like some suited connectors, even some small ones like the 6-5 suited, 6-4 suited, 8-6, those kinds of hands because they can really turn into something, something beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, you, yeah. if you flop a lot of equity, you can... Uh, you, you can really yeah, reap like some uh, a big benefit. Make that money. That's make what that's what Rude's saying. You can make, make that, that money. Make that money. Yo. Chaz raising it up over the straddles to one fifty, with the oh, ace man, king. Look at these hands. You Chan wondering if he uh, he's like, did I fold my hand or did I get the same hand again? Chaz, how do you think he's gonna play it, Rude? What do you think he's gonna do, Chaz? With I think the he's just gonna just put he's gonna four bet him. Slides racking. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Chaz, <laughs> Chaz bets with plastic with the plastic uh, rack. And Jacob's like WTF. Everyone, yeah, everyone else is just heading for the hills. Uh, you trying to got that smirk like he's gonna call. I don't know. My read's been off. What do you think? I think he's gonna fold, but he does. Have, he, I agree. He does have that look like he's gonna call. What's up there, Reap Daddy in the chat? What do you think? I think Yuchan's gonna call here with his ace queen for his uh, four thousand dollars he's got behind. He's down pretty pretty hard right now. I think he's down about like seven k or more. 
One for folds, two for calls. What do you think is going to happen here? One for fold, two for call. You could say uh, in the last hand, it was an easy and quick fold for Yuchan, but now Yuchan has the same situation, and now he has to think about it because it's Chaz. It's a different player. So what we were just talking about is being shown to us right here. Versus some players, easy fold. Versus some players, ugh, what are you going to do? Yeah, this particular player... Nuggets are getting destroyed, are destroying the team. He could be, his range is a little wider than most. Is it in Denver? Or maybe a lot wider than most. The Jokic is 20, 12, and 16 with three minutes up from the third. <laughs> That's a folding formation. One last look. That is folding vibes now. No, game's over. He's out of the game already. Oh, never mind. I'm up by 40. Going to the, it's still in the third quarter. That's a call. <laughs> He's done it. Oh my God, this guy! What? That's a, Amazing. This is poker, man. I, I I love with these guys on the no, table, no, man. This is a coin flip, but the Chaz's side is has a lot more weight to it than Yuchan's. What did uh, Jacob fold? Oh, sixes. Sixes. No queen on Oof. the river. Chaz is going to pick up his second 10K pot of the night through Yuchan. <laughs> Ace King is good. Five kids says table images everything, and he knows Chaz can raise with garbage. That is true, man. It was actually really cool that we got to see back to back hands, very similar situations, but different player types, and see how quickly Yuchan decided to make a fold versus how tough it was for him to fold there. Yeah. You always like the rocks? Yeah. Why? Fucking built the shot at me. They built their shit out of Honestly, it. Honestly, it would speed up a lot of the games if they just all just played a rack and just quickly count it. They fucking built the fuck. What's up, so, TSB? Tyler, how are you, buddy? It's good to see you out there in the chat. Uh, no? Really do. How long is he going to play out of the rack? Uh, really you know what? Play. It's tough to know. Chaz <laughs> kind of just has his days when he just plays out of the rack or, or not. They were just addressing that on the table, in fact. And someone made the point. Like yeah, a, some, like it, it bothers somebody at the yeah. table that he's playing out of the rack, and another player said, "You know, it would save a lot of time if everyone played out of racks because you can count it so much easier." So, so what do you think, chat? You can see. What do you think, chat? Do you think it is a bad thing? Is there negatives to players playing out of the uh, rack? You don't like it? You love it? What are your thoughts, chat? Give us some feedback. I'm, I'm curious. This is, uh, I've never really seen anyone play out of the rack until I've been to Texas. Yeah. This isn't the only one I've seen do it. It doesn't happen a whole lot, but yeah, you're right. There are people that, that do it. Uh, TSB is a, was a dealer. So I know he's got some uh, dealing experience in casino settings. I know card rooms in Texas are a little bit different. But yeah, I'd be interested to know, chat, what you guys think about that. The biggest right now is 21 and a half. I bet. I bet. I see a plus one for racks and limit games, and minus one for no limit games. Minus one? Is that what it is? One and minus one? <laughs> brownie points and no brownie points. Oh, Ghost of M is chiming in. He says he doesn't. It's a it, it's a superstitious thing. You know, when you have your chips in the rack, typically you're leaving, right? Mm -hmm. And if they deal you cards while you still you're still at the table and you're still racking. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't even want to look. We got a big hand here. Jacob calls on the turn when Chaz makes his straight with the open-ended. Jacob misses. Jacob was open-ended on the turn, but... Chaz gave him an opportunity to bluff at it, didn't he? Oh, no. Never mind. I thought he'd already checked. He overbet the pot there, bet about, uh, I don't know, 300 actually. That's about pot. I thought I saw purple. Very big. Eight, nine. This person's very big for me. It's like, it's. 
Every time I'm at a table playing with someone and they're racking up their chips, and they're, they're sitting there and they're taking another hand on, I will point it out to them. I always say, oh, you're playing out of, your, out of a rack. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> and then you kind of put that little thing in their head. Yeah. I mean, I was getting a lot, but it was a lot. Mine was also a lot. <laughs> McGregor may win in the office. Yes, <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. So I'm seeing, uh, yeah, a comment in the chat that uh, your chips, do what you want with them. Yep. yep. So <laughs> I've never thought too much about uh, somebody playing out of the rack. If anything, I kind of feel where Ghost is coming from. I might feel a little superstitious. Like I have a thing where playing out of the rack, bad beats happen. I don't know where that came from, but I feel that one a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Now that someone put it in our heads, collective heads, you always <laughs> notice it when it happens. Yeah. And I guess it's mostly because you you you're done with the session. You're on your way out. You've made it. You know, you've navigated your way through the game with however many chips you have, and then poof, you take a big hit. There's something there, though, Ghost. Whether or not it's logical, there's something there. I tried. Does the Ellsworth fight on our point, Jim? Jacob's turn to three bet with the. Uh, or, or to raise Chaz with the ace king. Chaz has an inferior ace. Where were they both connect? Anyone got diamonds? No diamonds. My most recent one I thought was a pretty good lock was Cowboys Buccaneers. Cowboys beat yeah, the Cowboys. Chaz with the nine yeah, kicker, Jacob with the lead. The biggest NFL better. It's going to be 225, a little under half pot. Rory has nothing going to get out of the way. Chaz not leaving yet. Nope. We've got 1000 bucks in the middle. Jacob's got 2K behind. Hmm, good card for Jacob. Again, Chaz is going to feel he may be borrowing that queen as the kicker. Mm -hmm. This happened uh, earlier to Chaz in the hand versus uh, John George. It did. The cow went first to the Niners. Oh, that was easy. Oh, you took the cowboy bet? They don't need good teams. But this I one has a monotone board the from the flop, so this is a little bit no, more problematic for it. Ace with no kicker. I just every but he can throw two picks three. against a bad team, and they can still win. But you can't do that against a good team. All right, Jacob has like set up the pot like size this. jam on the river, just a little bit less, and, and the diamond bricks. What do you think here, Rude? Do you think it's Jacob's going all in or checking? I think. Funny enough, Ooh, check, check, no time, uh, no yeah, time to process. He just wanted to show down. Yep. He didn't even think he about it. Well, I guess it's a kind of a scary thing. Maybe Chaz is calling it with like a five high flush, you know? Mm -hmm. So he just didn't want to get value owned. Potentially, but I think, I, I think personally, of my perception, I think that a five high flush. The, those uh, low flushes are going to look to uh, raise flop and turn and protect, not just let a, another diamond <laughs> mm -hmm, get mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. I think they'll try to build a pot sooner. So when you get to the river there, again, I think that if there was not a diamond, all diamond flop, I think you're right, though. Uh, more players will be inclined to bet that river. But uh, he did bet the turn, potentially with uh, full intentions of just checking the river and settling for two streets of value. That could have been uh, what Jacob was thinking there. Yeah, he did opt to not put any more money in there. Five kids wants to know, being from the east, how are you settling in now in Texas? You know, it took me a minute to adjust to uh, some of the cash game antics, I guess. Heads up pots in Texas are four ways. <laughs> so that's a thing. Minimum four ways. The games are great, though. Honestly, it's amazing. I first really like the idea of moving to Texas because I knew that I could make my YouTube vlogs, make TikToks, create content in the card room without having to worry about any sort of uh, casino regulations that I was having to deal with on the East Coast where I was living. And the games are just way better here. If you've ever played a 1-2 game at a casino on the East Coast, somebody's buying in with like 40, 60 bucks, whatever it is. Mm. 
and then everyone's folding. You raise to six bucks pre in a one two game and it folds around. It is just so sad. Oh. I spew so bad in those games. And uh, yeah, coming here to Texas, it's just you can be comfortable playing a one two game. You're going to get some action. You're going to be able to sit down. So I, I'm a huge fan. I, I loved every. Oh, Rude, I think I'm going to say every minute here in Texas. Every aspect of living yeah. in Texas. I can't huh? think of anything where I'm like, mm, I don't really like that. Hmm. Except for maybe, you know what? One thing. I'm going to say it right now, everyone. You're going to have it. Where is it? It's a little longer drives to go here. Texas is big. Texas is a big state. That's one thing I noticed. It's like to get from here to there, 20, 30 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. Depending on where you're at, could be a little bit Wait longer. Wait till you try to leave the state in a car. I drove here from <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the biggest Look, state yeah, so, ever. So from coming from Vegas, you hit the state line, maybe El Paso, right? Mm -hmm. And then you thought, okay, we made it to Texas. We must be getting close to San Antonio. No. No. Not you probably either. weren't even halfway. It was just, a, <laughs> yeah, it was driving through a lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a drive. That was a drive. And then when you went to Oklahoma, you did leave the state then also, right? Yeah. That's a pretty good drive. Probably, what, six, seven hours? Yeah. yeah. It was uh, actually about six hours in the RV. Fig, myself, Poker Traveler, a bunch of us went up there. And played the uh, circuit and uh, the RV. It's a cool trip. I, it got there a lot faster than I actually thought it would have. Yeah. yeah. Fives versus sixes. John versus Bobby. Bobby John. Oh. That shot for Bobby. Still in the lead with sixes. Now he pairs the board, puts a second diamond out there. Bob's going to go for it. John George doesn't believe him yet. There's nothing I could really spoil about that season anyway. Seven. <laughs> that would have been a funny river. <laughs> would have counterfeited both of them. See if Bobby, uh, I was going to see if Bobby wanted to find a bluff here. Now the question is, does John George think he has enough showdown to check and win here versus Bobby's hand? Well, that is what he's uh, processing right now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sees the bad news. If I was betting, it was going to be twice the bottom. Pretty close. Yeah. Pretty this, close. this is a, a good point here from TSB in the chat. says, I never really want to tangle with someone who's playing out of a rack because they're always one hand away from standing up and walking away. So mm. if you lose a big hand to them, mm. that actually makes me a little – obviously, Chaz is not going to be one to yeah, just get yeah, up and Chaz leave. Chaz is going nowhere. This but is just his style sometimes. I feel where he's coming from. Yeah. Right. I get that. I get that. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you don't want to get in in a big pot with somebody, <laughs> and then your chips are leaving. Uh, you know, if you lose. Um, you can bring it out of the round. Okay. Cool story has a question. I'm gonna ask you, Rude. What do you think here? You have two two small clubs. We were just talking about this. Yeah. Board comes three clubs. So you flop your flush, but it's a low flush. Um, what are the odds of someone else having two clubs in their hand? Are you trying to raise up the pot and get it all in? Are you ever concerned that someone else does have a flush, or are you pretty confident that when you flop a flush, you have the best hand the most? Well, in my opinion, it's not every day you're going to flop a flush. It's kind of, it's, uh, I don't know what the odds are. It's probably something I should, I should know. Maybe you know what the odds are. But um, it's not very likely. Um, so, um, typically on a monotone board, I'm probably going to bet. Oh, yeah, yeah. about so the same way whether I have the flush or not, uh, assuming I've been the pre-flop aggressor. Um, I might size up a little bit more if it's just a small little baby flush, you know, maybe mm -hmm. for a little bit of protection or to uh, charge the person with one to the, of that suit. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely tough for a more than one player to flop a flush. It's, it's quite rare. I've, I've seen millions of hands between online and live. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's just not too many spots where somebody just uh, flops a flush over flush that I've uh, really come in contact with. It's much more 
get in eights, get in uh, aces versus someone eights, and then they hit an eight. Especially in two card, is in no limit hold'em. If you're playing the five card variety, yeah. you know four cards, five cards, and uh, you have the king high flush, it doesn't mean you have the nuts. Ghost says 118 to one with suitable cards. Oh, thank you, Ghosty. Flop a flush. Yeah, the 32 number, right? Yeah. I, gave, I gave 33. So, I don't know. Feels about right. So, never mind. One person doing it. Two people trying to do it. Right? Right. It's an incredibly high scoring to game three. Yeah, this could be like, it'll be 60, close to 70. Cut shot for John. I like that. Remember when I called? I said to underprice my winning spin. It's 775. Probably. Yeah, Chaz five. called. We're not sure what he has, though. Maybe that rack is in the way of the sensor. I, I thought they would win this game and LeBron might, might break it. That, that would have been a good parlay. That would have been, been a sick parlay. That parlay probably would have been paying fucking huge, too. And then just hedge it by taking the six and a half. Yeah. Oh, I missed John's raise. He raised with right that shot. Oh, and he gets Yuchon and Chaz both to fold. That was a well played hand, John. Yuchon had middle pair, so it wasn't like he couldn't really. He wasn't ready to die on that hill with middle pair. It wasn't even top pair. And John did show the bluff. So that was cool. Here's our reminder once again of that upcoming tournament. The 2023 Poker Masters, $200,000 guarantee. We're going to be playing that in about a week's time. This is uh, our first day one. And what you'll do in order to qualify for day two is you'll play down to the top 12% of your, of your uh, field. And then... Uh, on day two, the blinds will go from 30 minutes to 40 minutes, okay? And then we'll play down to the final nine. And on Monday, the 20th, the final table will be live streamed. So keep that, put that on your calendar. Mark off, block off that section of the week. And be prepared to come out. Try your hand at a, a share of $200,000. <laughs> <laughs> One fifty raised for Chaz with ten nine. Ten nine off suit. Yuchan wakes up with ace queen off suit. It is incredible that he has ace queen again. He's had some tough spots with ace queen tonight. He's probably gotten ace queen like seven times tonight. Yuchan three bets Chaz with ace queen. He makes it 600 to go, and Chaz just gets right out of the way. That's not one he wants to tangle with. He got that streak even, taken well. Even in position. You gotta play a little differently when you're uh, in the cap game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not infinite deep anymore, you know? One is out. Yep, I'll go for You're a big boy. One is, one is out and eight is out. I mean, I mean, nine is in, nine is in. You still have to immediately flip to your, you have ace or aces. What, what, what do you want? What do you want? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same thing, my guy. King of clubs is closed. 125? Okay, 50, 50, 50. 50. 50. What's exposed? All right, we got $25.50. $50 to go. We got two straddles. 25 and nine, 50 and three. Oh, oh no, fades. That's all, yeah. <laughs> and... We have a one Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts. One thirty-five. Jack of Hearts. And King of Clubs. And the King of Clubs. 
Um, what's up there, Aaron Birch in the chat? How's it going? Hanging out with us on YouTube. From seven. Oh, shit. You're welcome there, cool story. Anybody want to sign for the uh, response on the flop flush question from Jackson. earlier. What's up, Cello? Howdy, howdy, Lily Bell. We got a lot of friends hanging out watching us on Twitch. For those of you who might just be tuning in, we are Rounders tonight. My name is Drew, a.k.a. Bet on Drew. I'm here with my man Rudy at Rounders Card Club doing some commentary on this 5-5 Jeez, 5, 5, 10, 25, 50, 100 game tonight. Deep, deep stack. Deep stacked cash game. A lot of action, a lot of big pots. Multiple 10K pots already tonight. Jacob's got a nice flush draw. He's going to take yeah. it down with the C-bat. No connection at all for Bobby, so he's just going to get out of the way. Let Jacob take that one down. There we go. These are up to the minute chip counts. Yep. Look at Chaz, 2,300 big blinds in his stack. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Texas poker right here. Our <laughs> shortest stack has 632 <laughs> blinds. That's crazy. Here's the real scorecard we want to see. Now we got a lot more green colors. Mm -hmm. Chaz has now moved it up yeah. with that one, the last big hand that he had against you, John. $6,400 up. John right behind him. Jacob making a move. He's up 1800 You, John, down in the cellar for now. And we got some more tequila shots coming in. Chaz doing the five card peel there. <laughs> But yeah, basically with those uh, last stats, with the way the cards have gone tonight, Yuchan has been uh, taking the chips from Rory and uh, distributing them to the table pretty much. <laughs> That's right. He's taking Rory's chips and spreading them out mostly in Chaz's stack. Yeah. BDC. Seems like tonight, Yuchan being a great player though. The only one that he's been able to beat is Rory. Past that, everyone has been uh, one upping him pretty much. Ace King versus Ace Queen, Queens versus his Jacks. It's been in some uh, tough spots. Rory's turn with the Ace Queen. He's got two clubs. Pretty, pretty big three bet, 700. Uh, Rory and Yuchan again. I thought we were going to see it. Not this one, not this one. You had me beat Rory was due to take one down from Yuchan. I mean, I have a... Oh, I had to beat I would, but can I get eight I'm being a real... Jack, I'll take this one. I was banking on you to raise, but then whenever he turned around, I was like, Oh, oh. Got some trades I taking place things. of the shots. <laughs> These are stacks by yeah, player position. No, not just Seeing the guy in the middle. <laughs> Let's see them V-pips. How are them V-pips looking rude? Yeah, oh, V-pips. <laughs> going to tell us the percentage of the, them putting their money in the pot first. Voluntarily putting it in the pot. Yuchan's still leading that stat. God, is that terrible? Cheers, everyone. Cheers, cheers. Where do I find tequila? Yeah, that line does taste weird. Tequila. Maybe not the one we'll talk about that first. What's up there, John Kite Poker? How's it going tonight? Mikey Cash. Everyone tuning in. Enjoying the show. Please don't forget to hit the follow button or the smash the like if you're on YouTube. We appreciate it. We do. We got a bunch of highlights. If you have not been able to catch all of the streams tonight, we have highlights released every week. Multiple highlights released on our YouTube channel. So if you want to catch just the big moments, we got those coming out weekly. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube. It's free to do that. 
Uh, a popular clip last week came out. Preston, Preston was in the chat earlier. Mm -hmm. Popular clip when uh, Preston folded kings to a five bet preflop, and his opponent happened to have aces. So Preston made a pretty bossy fold, but the chat was the comments were going at it. They were wondering what's going on. People were curious. It's like how you fold stuff like that. So there's a lot of good conversation, fun conversation. Yeah, yeah. I've only folded kings preflop. Maybe less than five times. Well, I don't like it in 1942. Yeah, it's hard to do. I mean, you don't get big pairs like that very often. Yeah, they're tall. Is that Dirk's man? Yeah, I got fucked up on that shit one night at Nick. Did you think you should have by the bottle? We fucking polished that thing, dude. I went out drinking with uh. Yeah, but he's the best hand. Only buy 1942 well, I'm buying 1942 after Avery. That is not true. Talk about the first one's got to be good. The rest of you don't let me tell you. If J1 is going to fire his queen high, it's the only way he can win. He's got to bet to win this thousand dollar pot. We know he's capable. Yep, we saw that earlier. A couple times. The day after drinking like well tequila. He's reaching for chips, sizing up his bet. About a thousand? Jake makes a quick fold. Oh no, he called, huh? Jake would snap call. That was quick. Jacob knows what he knows what he wants to do. Yeah, he knows what he wants to do when it gets to him. Picks up a nice pot. Jacob climbing after a slow early start. Yeah. Well done. The tried and true method. Well played, Jacob. Yep, well played. Weak, weak top pair from the flop. Good bluff card on the turn. I don't know that he knows how uh, aggressive Jay wan has been in some post-flop situations, but probably the way, uh, the best way to play this hand here, bluff catcher. Hope that your opponent's got what it takes to throw out some, some bluffs. Yep. It's not really a hand that uh, is easy to bet on your own. So if somebody else is willing to bet it for you, it could be better. Uh, we do have Preston still hanging out with us in the chat. Said he fooled because no, he's he a didn't. super knit. Or a super genius. <laughs> flip a coin on that one. Yeah, super knit or super genius. <laughs> I'm a, you know what? If I have a coin, I would flip it right now. <laughs> Preston, and let you know what the result would be. I don't have one now. Do we want to one-two him in the chat? or No, that's the one. <laughs> it's a tough fold to make. Like I said, I've only folded kings pre-flop five times. But if you go to our YouTube channel and check the highlight, the I'll tell you what the title of it is. But you might be able to find a fold as well in a Preston situation. I thought it was an educated fold. Oh, no, he actually got six bet. But it's kings faces a six bet pre-flop. Preston folds the kings. Okay. Yeah. That was a deep game that we were playing. I think that was a 1-2 game. We had over $40,000 oh, on the table that, that night. Yes, I remember that. That was a crazy, crazy night. Look at this. Let's get some clubs on the flop for two flop flushes. Ah, no joy. Not that time, not that time. <laughs> We got the sheriff of V Pip in the chat still hanging out with us. Poker Traveler says Preston is not nitty, so I guess it was a genius fold then, huh? Rude. Wow. Uh, you okay with that? What, uh, I think that's what Poker Traveler is saying. You gonna sign that off? Sign off on that one. Preston's a good player, man. He's tough. Yeah, I think so too. I'm feeling it. That's funny though. Poker Traveler is uh, this is his uh, home card room, so you can see him a lot here. I know he will be playing. I believe he's playing the Poker Masters. Yeah, he's playing the Poker Masters next week. That, that's that's how I used to be too. I was in chess club in like middle school. Big so if you want to meet Seti, Poker Traveler, myself, some others, I think a lot of people are going to be coming out for this Poker Masters. Yeah, good. You're going to be firing, right? Are you not? That's right in the middle of that trip. Ah, oh, that's right. I'll be out of town. That's right. 
but I definitely would. I'm, I'm a frequent flyer. Or Seti and I were in here uh, the last tournament. We are talking about how many how many bullets we fired in that tournament. Yeah, Leonard. Five each. Yeah, he's good. How much does he play for? Bro, yeah, I like repeat, dollars, like sure. yeah, I played him for twenty dollars. He yeah. like checkmated yeah, me in like for five couple times. He obliterated. Yeah, I played him he, one he time. checkmated me in like, like forty turns. Yeah, he came over that high house moves. and brought in his chessboard. Dude. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I've been fucking blitz, dude. Fucking playing this guy. Yeah, sure. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Top pair still, still for Chaz. Right. <laughs> Pretty much has yeah, this one locked up. Shane over my shoulder, dude. Quick fold from J1 and Rory, same thing. I think there's only two people here that are not that one. I like some of them. Avery, yeah. the dealer. Avery yes. could be him. Wow, if Avery, Avery's good. Yeah. Avery has like a rank of 1900. Oh, wow. And uh, <laughs> Corey. Corey's really good. Oh, really? The barber? Yeah. They, one wow. of the Euro kids. Another fun fact about Corey. He's one of the red ones. Was uh, he, uh, no, he's he was there. He was the one that came after them, the Greek. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Corey is. Scorecard, the all important scorecard. He is great at ping pong. Who is? Corey, dude. Clap anyone here to be yep, Thursday we got a fun tournament fun. coming up. So yeah. I will be out there. Oh, no, actually, I'm, I'm going to be in the booth Thursday. You'll be, you'll be here with me. I'll be in the booth Thursday. Yeah. But we, we're debuting a new tournament, the 20K Double Trouble. Double Trouble. Where you buy another tournament, and if you bust out, you can re enter for free before we get into the money. So $300 buy in. You get two shots at the 20K guarantee. So if you manage to hang on to your free re-entry chip, should we call it a free buy? Yeah. A free buy chip. I don't know. Should we? I'm not know. sure if that's free the uh, here one. Yeah, yeah. It's but free. You get it doesn't your, cost uh, anything your French to use it. I think we got to call it a French tree. French tree. Yeah. Free entry. Yep. Free re-entry. But if you make it mm, to the it's money like, bubble, and you still have a chip, you can cash it in well, for real money. Yep. So it creates an interesting dynamic. In the meantime, here we see uh, Chaz three batting with Jax. Makes it 125 to go. You'd be better against power spin. Way better against power. Rory has a decision decision to make. He's got Queen Jack suited. This is a hand that flop well flops well. Gotta get serious, Chaz. That's why uh, Rory puts in the four oh, bat. Chaz grabs the rack. Much. Chaz is fingering his rack. He's thinking about it. Oh, three fifty. Fucking inbox. Chaz acting out of position. He's gonna take it to the, the streets. remainder of this hand. So we're gonna see a flop. I'm sure Rory doesn't mind that. Especially with the Queen Jack suit, I definitely want to see at least three. Five, nine, eight, one diamond. Rory with two overs. Got shot to the straight draw. Yeah, I, I, watch, I watch so much chess content and I'm in the good. aforementioned I'm diamond, diamond draw. But four clubs on a turn yeah, changes. I thought I was the only person. I thought I was the only person that does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing. We're really looking for a queen or a ten to make the best hand. Yeah, that's my theory about it. And um, so I'm like, I haven't even Googled or I haven't even. Yeah, I always here. see like. At this point, I think Chaz yeah, has yeah, to know Rory like, does not like, have much, so like, he might check to try to let Rory to bluff, like, but if he does bet, I'm uh, feeling like he can't really bet too big, like given what like, Rory looks like he has here, probably a case, king, ace, queen. Like See Chaz the size. 720 in the middle. He grabbed the purple chip, like what, 650? 750. Yeah, Bet's pot, looks bluffy. Definitely looks yeah, bluffy. But Rory has nothing. If Rory has nothing, he's going to let it go. Yeah. If Rory had ace nine there, I think that'd be a perfect uh, exploitative move. Or potentially if Rory maybe four bets in like a uh, hand like sixes or sevens. I played that. Chaz did pick a, a polarizing sizing. Yeah, sure. Meaning it's a uh, bigger bet into the pot, so he's either going to have a big hand or he's probably going to want to bluff with that sizing. Rory just didn't have too much to call with. Drew, you're being called out. What's that? Seti is uh, challenging you to last longer than attorney. And Indian food is involved. Indian food lunch lasts longer. Uh, you know what? I would not know what to order except butter chicken. 
if I went into an Indian restaurant, but you know the <laughs> Indian food buffets. Cheers to the word of the night. That's I've been there a bunch of times. Oh, really? And I think yeah, Some and it's awesome because you get to try everything. <laughs> So okay, last longer, I don't know. Pick me on a certain day. I might, I might go in there and do work. They might ask me yeah. to leave <laughs> at some point. Yeah, you don't want to act like you're putting on the one sixty. What else is good? Some butter chicken. Chat. What's uh, what's what's your favorite Indian food? You know, I think of the butter chicken, the chicken uh, tiki masala. That's a yeah. red sauce one that I know is really nice. That's not the uh, the tandoori chicken. Uh, I don't know That's if I know that. What, what color is that one? That's red, a red one too. Red, yeah. Chicken tiki masala, I think, is a reddish color one too. And the butter chicken is, of course, like more of an orangey, creamy looking color. Tomato soupy almost. Like a nice grilled cheese, mm, okay. tomato soup look, I think. More of that presentation. Yeah, a little bit. You got me Googling these here. Vindaloo for Preston and chicken sag. Let me see what this Vindaloo is. May I have. <laughs> Ooh. Oh gosh, it all looks so good, man. And you know what? It's all over my favorite thing, rice. There are yeah. yeah, see the tandoori chicken is not in that presentation as you described, like the stew kind of thing. It's just the chicken. Oh, I see. Like uh, it's like a barbecue just, yeah, 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 yeah. kind of chicken. Okay, Baked. nice. Yeah. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah. 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 Lollipop chicken? Is that a thing, Seti? I think I might be getting trolled here. Hang on a second. Lollipop chicken. Is that a thing, chat? Oh my gosh, it's a thing. Holy crap. <laughs> I will make it a very small size if I open it. Good for y'all. Oh, very generous. <laughs> So yes, we got a definition there in the chat from Ghost for you, uh, Cello, over on Twitch. So you can redeem the reentry to add to your stack. No, you have to fully bust out in order to claim your reentry trip. And if you're still around during the uh, when you make the cash and you have that rebuy chip or the free buy chip or whatever we we are going to call it, um, and it's unused, then you. That entitles you to a share of the non-bust-out people's share, the 20% of the prize pool. Yep, yep. There is a uh, portion of the prize pool, the 20% there, that is put aside for the rancher chips. So that creates an interesting dynamic. Speaking of interesting dynamics, we've got a three bet to 1,100 from g one with King-7 suited after Jesse's raised to 450. Jesse has been pretty tight. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a spot. This might work. G1's picked some uh, some cool spots today. He to, really has. Uh, to be aggressive. I absolutely yeah, agree. Yeah, he's Remember probably going to show this one. Yeah. Or Getting towards the end of the stream, he seven. might show. Uh, you're away. Yeah, he's been doing so. some work, picking some cool <laughs> spots. Um, unfortunately, it really hasn't translated to big wins, but that's good. Uh, appreciate the effort. Yeah, you know what? He's done really well. He does not have the highest V pip. Actually, can, can we pull up uh, J Wan's V pip here? Sure. So where is he? So he's got 26% VPIP. He's middle of the pack. He's, ki he's kind of low-key. If you're not really, really paying attention, it would seem, because we've been watching the whole stream, of course, Rude, that he's playing on the tighter side, but he's playing on the... He's got a kind of a mixed field, tight pre, and more aggressive post-flop. Let see his pre-flop raise. He's up at 21%. Yep. Not doing a lot of calling, mostly raising when he's coming in. So he's playing a very cool strategy that could be tough to play against. And it's working out well, especially he's getting a lot of folds uh, in those post-flop situations. And he uh, just picked up a nice pot there with no resistance with the uh, well-timed four bet there. Right. But he's still down 1,800. Still down 1,800. This is a crazy game we play, Rudy. Why do we play this game? <laughs> what is going on here? You can make all the right plays. You could do these genius moves, but you could still be losing. I don't get it. How did we get here, Rude? Well, we've got three guys with an ace in this hand. Yeah. Only Chaz with the worst of the aces <laughs> hit this board. 
That's funny. Just got really quiet, everyone. <laughs> just in this hand. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're about to unquiet everyone with six <laughs> tequila shots coming in. Bingo. Queen of Diamonds on the turn for Jesse. He recognizes that it's a really good card for his hand, or for this hand. So we've got uh, 100, 200? 200, 200 I believe. 10, okay. Yep. Got shot for Rory. Chaz is still with the pair. Rory gets out of the way. Chaz releases oh, two. Just going to take it down. Ooh. Yeah, I was in that. I think I told you I was a uh, heads up in the tournament last night and uh, was a five to one underdog with, with chip sacks, mm -hmm. right? And. Um, I won like four pots in a row or something like that, and I was coming back. And it was like about a three to one lead when um, this hand happened. I had nine, ten raised. I flopped the nine. Flop was like nine, four deuce. I flopped the nine. Opponent flopped the four. Money gets all in on the turn, right? And so the cards are turned over. I have a pair of nines, top pair, and he has four, five, so he has a four. Four on the river <laughs> gives him the win. And I told my wife about that. She's like, she gets she gets mad at me, yeah, <laughs> for the for the for the you know, what happens, what can happen in poker, just the the heartbreak. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what that's what makes this game so so beautiful and terrible at the same time, right? The pain. Did she say, Rudy? Don't tell me about your bad. <laughs> she beat. absolutely did. Just win next time. I could have done without hearing that part of it. <laughs> All right, we got a fifty dollars straddle, and we are Texas heads up, five ways to the flop. Ooh, ooh, spicy with the diaper for Rory. Pair of deuces on the flop. Rory's got the three deuce. Anyone else got anything here? Not too much. We got some overs, back doors. There's so many people in this. This is the kind of flop that J1 would like to typically likes to fire at. But there's so many people. Such a dry board. Hoping people have some back door draws. Bobby had the best back door hand. King Queen of Clubs. Back door straight draw, flush draw, two overs. <laughs> Unfortunately for Rory, man, you know what? When you have a hand like three deuce off suit and you flop trips, you just want to at least get somebody in there. Yeah. Those are the dream situations, right? I'll play you for money. I'm still Rory's a simulator guy. Yeah, I'll have a scratch draw on that fucking thing. But you still probably win. I saw some actual scratch draws. It's weird. Like, when I golf, I like I don't golf for six months, seven months of the year. When I golf, I golf like... Probably eight rounds in some round, of You look like you hit the ball very well. Right. <laughs> like, I bet your green is like 120. We'll okay. figure it out later. How about that? Who's got the best? Uh, hits the ball very hard as well. Club head speed. Y'all should do a long take, drive contest. Well, I can't take who does hit the ball really hard. hard. This guy's fucking, I can't how to fucking like, send it off the fucking range, dude. Makes it very inconsistent with my driver, so whenever I do finally get that consistent consistency, I won't. Yeah, more of a nice fish for the golfer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I used to play throughout high school. Yeah, really. oh. A. A. And a. What's that? Two seventy-five. Six is for Rory. Cool. I heard a lot of good things about Cam. You like, you, like, you like paying tax? Oh, John they, they George is tired of this golf talk. He's going to raise with like, you like paying tax, nine seven suited. Tax, and make it and no hand two seven two seventy five. He's three betting Chaz. Corey makes the call. He's set mining with his sixes. Like they're deep enough. Yeah. We're playing deep here in Texas, so they're two thousand fifteen hundred, two thousand blinds deep. Not implied value. You can uh, hit a big hand with your sixes. Ooh, monotone board, all hearts. John George hits a seven. That's the best hand currently, but it could be a difficult pot to navigate. Rory's got the heart. A couple outs for John, would you say? 
I was in South Padre, then it went south. Like, oh. 24 outs for John. To stay well, ahead. Rory's still not dead, though. All right. Maybe two weeks. We've seen John with a uh, really strong hand in a couple situations, but smaller. I wonder who he goes with. 400? We go bigger. Seven. That might be seven. Five? Seven. Oh, a little bit bigger. Seven? Seven. 700, yep. Yeah, I'll choose all euros. Mm hmm. Yeah, they don't even fucking talk. It's like fucking headphones and iPads. It's like one, two, seven. It's like, just fucking flip my throat and stuff. And they don't sit there and just call. Oh, if you would have liked this one. Down to the guy last week at PCH. He, uh, he didn't tip a dollar. So Rory does call. Misses his flush. 2,500 in the middle. And the effective stack here is Rory with 4,800. Uh, as soon as he checks, Rory snap checks. Yeah, and John goes, ah. He was hoping he had uh, a hand like maybe ace 10, ace of hearts, 10 of hearts, something like that, that he was going to have to bluff on the river. Maybe a jack 10, jack of hearts type of thing. Probably a hand that might bluff a little bit more often than uh, the ace 10, but. And can he run good? Eating that John George has been having a good night tonight. Uh, no, he sure has. Like he, he's <laughs> yeah, he's doing he's well. He's up 7K, exactly. Clean 7K on the dot. tonight, yep. We were talking uh, earlier about uh, a couple of the players who bought in for 2500 The max buy-in for this game tonight was 5000 We were talking about uh, a couple of players who bought in for 2500 and uh, we were wanting to see who's going to be the first person to break 10 k And uh, John George, one of those players, is close now. He is close. Yep, he's closing in on the 10 k mark. Yep. Chaz has uh, hit a couple of biggies. Rory's topping up. I think so. I'm going to get up to 5K. Uh, uh, this game, I think, has 5k cap oh, to begin, okay. but it's matched the stack. I will count it for you right now. 2k, 3k. So as they negotiate the topping up uh, status. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Rudy will not be here. I'm not going to tell you again. Rudy will not be here for the Poker Masters. So that there, means there's, a way, there's a way forward for you guys. Somebody can take it. Exactly. Our chances have increased. The 2023 Poker Masters here at Rounders. $400 buy-in, 200k guaranteed, starting next Wednesday, February 15th, day one flights. This is a 30-minute and then 40-minute level tournament. Day ones will be 30 minutes, day two, 40 minutes. Or, uh, yeah, day two, 40 minutes on the 19th. Final table stream, day three is on the 20th. President's Day. And we got a hand here. Little President's open Day, but yet yeah, uh, hold that much. thought. <laughs> <laughs> Middle pair for Rory, yes. gut shot, straight uh, draw. J1 also oh, has a yeah. gut shot, or Matt yeah, gut shot, straight draw. And, and backdoor diamonds. Now he's <laughs> double <laughs> gutted. Well, it sounds fair. Well, you said you shoot low eight. Yeah. That's like 15 shrimp better than you can probably. Oh, really? Way, more, way more than 15. what's your best round? Bink. That's what sounds like. Bingo. J1 oh, hits a four for a straight. Be, it's not fair. Rory <laughs> yeah. has only no, a six, a pair of sixes. Let's see what his bet sizing looks like. 115 in the pot. <laughs> J1's going to toss out. 150 <laughs> over bets the pot. <laughs> That's a crying call formation. I'm not sure if he's going to make it. I feel like he's... And I'm out there drinking Not. You don't need the ball to go straight at Bragg. That's a beautiful thing. When I start hitting that 15 beer, I'm like, I don't even know where the ball is. So we were saying about the... the Right. Poker Masters, yep. uh, multiple day one flights, yeah, day two on Sunday, 
and day three on Monday. I actually remember. This is the third time today I tried to talk about this, yeah. and I forgot. But on President's Day, we are going to be doing a $2,000 buy-in high roller event. What? On, yes, Monday the 20th. So, okay. uh, yeah, $2,000 buy-in event. It's... I don't know how often – I'm still less than a year here in uh, San Antonio and at Rounders, so I don't know how often that these uh, tournaments pop off. But uh, I'm going to be very interested to see the turnout. $2,000 buy-in <laughs> tournament. There is a $1,000 add-on that is going to be available for an extra 30,000 chips. So maybe we'll see some of the players in this game hop in there. I'm going to be very interested to see how that field turns out. But that's a uh, nice way to – Pump up your handed mob stats there. Yeah. I think if you come in to that two thousand dollar buying tournament, win it. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Maybe a three table tournament, a two table tournament. Yeah, I'm uh I'm thinking that we might see uh, two to four tables potentially for that tournament. What's up there, Sharkbait422 watching us on Twitch? Second time watcher, last time I learned a bunch. Well, we're glad to hear that. We are glad to hear that. I wish I played high school. I know, see, that's what I forget, yeah. I played high school, I didn't play it. I didn't play for the first two years out of high school. I started playing. $104. So we got a. Uh, Ace nine, ten nine, top pair for Rory. Jacob's got some hope though. That's a hundred. Rory calls. Yeah, well, I'm pretty new to golf. So it's like golf is way more mental than it is actual ability. When I take a long break, I just get out there and hit it. I'm like, oh, I'm doing pretty good. Like big heart in Jacob's hand. They say gives him some comfort in moving forward. Playing the tournament, playing the practice round versus the amateurs, and is playing for as much money as possible. Don't discount that ace. Eight pairs the board. Can't play. You really think they were I mean, he must be giving off or something. He's probably like these rich dudes that just want to say they can play with him. Suspect Rory is in check call mode. Of course. Of course. Like, you're a major winner. Like, how are you getting action? Let's give people Oh, man. Okay, so they go from the close tees. Rory doesn't love it. He doesn't. He played from the women's. He omanned it immediately. Just so happy to give him five throws. I played the looks for the whole round. It was like 10 point blank play without the hole. Yeah, I mean, there's like, that part of it, too. Like, they don't win that many fucking rounds. <laughs> I call. I call. Ooh, he yep. does make a crying call. Another yeah, side, side call situation. Mm -hmm. He almost yeah, marked his hand. I'm just joking. He goes, he plays once, once every two call. weeks, say, makes, like, fucking 200k a week, like, like, a bunch of scrubs. There's a nickel right there, but... Oh, there all he says! Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. If you are like our friend on Twitch there, Sharkbait, and you're enjoying the stream, maybe you learned a thing or two, whether it be from the players on the table, myself, or Rude. We appreciate your company. hope you're enjoying this uh, San Antonio, Texas poker action live from Rounders Card Club. If you are, don't forget to hit those likes and follow buttons. Show some love. We really appreciate it. And reminder, if you want to catch the highlights from the stream, make sure you're subscribed and following our YouTube channel. If you can't watch all the stream, we usually go around four hours. We will take care of it. We'll post the clips on our YouTube channel. You can watch them at any time. Watch them back. Share them with your friends. Some of the highlights, some of the lowlights. Highlights, lowlights. Interesting spots. All the things. You would have folded. Hit her up and in. Four, five, four. You would have folded. I'll probably have a Standard score, but eight yeah. chat or what? Hmm? Six four. Four, four, but here or what? Good call, Rory. Yeah, I'm.
I oh, four bet from you, Chad, with ace queen again is going to work this time. Yep. It's nine times ace queen for you, Chad, tonight. Nine times I've been keeping count. Yeah, he's. Yeah, the Definitely had that hand many, many times. What would you rather do? Ace queen nine times or ace twice? Ace queen nine times, ace is twice. I think I'm going to go with. Hmm. That's for you too, chat. While Root, while Root is uh, stewing over this one, would you rather get dealt in a, in a let's say, a four hour stream, cash game stream? Would you rather get dealt ace queen nine times or aces twice? What do you think? I think I'm partial to aces. It happens to be my favorite hand. You know, um, I think that there's a very clear path. <laughs> And how you're going to handle well, aces for the know, most, you know, most part, you know, 95% of the time, you know what you're going to do uh, with ace queen. You know, it's you have to be careful. You know, you've got to navigate through some uh, some spots. So you're going with ace queen nine times or aces twice? Aces twice. Rude's going with aces twice. We got a couple comments already coming in. You know what they are? Ace queen nine times. Wow. I think I'm leaning towards ace queen nine yeah, times as well. Yeah. Nine times is a lot. It's yeah. a good hand. That's a lot of times with a with a good hand. A bunch of hands. A lot of times you can go broke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, so let me ask you this. Would you rather have ace queen? Five times or ten nine, ten jack suited, seven times. Okay. Ace queen five times, ten jack suited seven times. All right. Rudy just check racist there. I'm gonna I'm gonna stew on it a minute here. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, Rory three bet. Mm -hmm. Rory three bet the deuces. Yuchan calls. These two again, huh? These two again. This time Yuchan doesn't have uh, ace queen though. No. Oh no! Look at this turn card. Let's see here. Rory knows he has a deuces, though. He's trying to think uh, if he wants to bluff it. Chan's giving him some rope. He's definitely breaking it this time. Yeah. He wants to win, dude. Oh, he's winning, but he's just going to break the record. I feel like, I feel like my prediction's going to hold. What a card. Everyone just realized he's breaking up this hand. They're like, fuck, yeah, we got the rot. We bought the rot. Yuchan's going to bet the best hand. If they don't pause the game, I'll be surprised. It's not their fault. Oh, that's your fault. The ring's there and everything. Because they're going to take the ball out of play and everything. It's in L.A. It's going to take it down, man. Let's go. <laughs> uh, man, I respect right. the battling. There's, the ten, the, board. Board. There's the, the ten jack. There's the ten jack. So the board. So ten jack suited yeah, nine good. times. Or Perfect board for those two hands. We're talking about ace queen versus ten jack. <laughs> so ace queen twice or jack ten. No, ace queen five times, ten jack suited seven times. Ah, uh, ace queen five times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but if it's something like ace queen three times, jack ten suited nine times, times, jack ten suited. Is how how old is yeah. record? Yeah, the frequency. Like twenty years. Uh, heard what eighty eight? Ten twenty. And to get like a world class 20? player to play twenty years and turn out a high school student. Eighty. Come on, eighty one sixty one five. So this might be it. This might be the holy grail. Yeah, yeah, and he's probably gonna run it up to like forty two. He's like saying forty. That's a straddle. Jeez. Well, he could probably play that long, but I don't know if it's happy. I thought it would matter. Like, I think once he plays one year with his kid, he might work. Chad's got a nice hand for the button here. King 7 suited. Going up. 250. Two and a half. We had straddles up to 80. He shouldn't do what Brady did. Just put it so far out of reach. Wow. Nice shot. We got booty and booty getting folded. Round of Yuchan on the $40 straddle. He's got a pretty one. 9 7 suited. And he's down. No, he Looking to get up. I'm saying, it's like the lead for the NBA now is like, what, like upper. Where he's yeah. looking at his 80 bucks yeah. in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Two of his buddies <laughs> in the pot. Decides to get in there. The 9 5 offsuit. Sure no, 28. For his career? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. He's 27 points on his first career. Oh, okay. Michael and Will are the only two in this. Nine on the board for Yuchon and Rory. Quick checks from the two of them. That one's tough. I think over four. They're going to let Chaz take the lead. 790 in the pot. He just flips out a purple chip for 500. What's going to be the most interesting for me to see in this pot is what Rory does after Yuchan calls. 
Let's do the wizard in the bowl. The only reason he plays for the wizard is I know what he's going to do. He's going to pull out some hair, <laughs> and then well, no, and then yeah, he's going to think about what to do. Well, yeah, the situation like changes back. when you are three ways and somebody calls with middle pair, whereas if it's heads up, it's easy to call. Nice fold by Rory. I like that fold a lot. Even though we hit, once Yuchan calls, it changes it changes the situation a lot. So nice fold by Rory. Totally better have this here. Charlotte's under because that's an easy winner. That's a blind bet. What? I'll take it. I don't care what the number is. What do you, what do you number was? <laughs> Yuchan does still have the best hand. He checks. He checks over to Chaz. Chaz has not improved. See if he thinks he can get Yuchan off of a no, nine no, or a queen. Maybe even value bet a jack ten. That would be pretty sick. Like, I, was making money on Tennessee, right? like, I think he may like, have been hoping to like, flop a little bit more equity with maybe, you know, like a 10 or a, a spade, <laughs> but it didn't come. But that he's now he's just going to double down on his 1400. 1300. 13 into 17. Show bluff. Show King Jack. King Jack for sure. Tough there. Uh, Chaz bets 1300. Yuchan's got about 3500 behind at that moment. But uh, yeah, the power of uh, chips. Yeah, three. Putting the pressure on the stack. Uh, yep. Also, you know, Chaz has been winning. And Yuchan's been losing. That kind of you know, gets tiring. <laughs> you don't want to keep losing, you know? Yep. Yep. You don't want to be shown a, a dang queen, you yeah, know, queen four. True. You know, some shitty queen. Fun, fun, fun. Are we sad yet? No. Other 10? Are we sad? 40. <laughs> <laughs> so we're up to $40 straddle this hand. What's the head number? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sad, but I'm bummed out. I am bummed out. Rory announces not sadness. The state of not sadness. Actually, pretty blasted right now. Yeah. Very so hundred. Jacob's got a nice hand on the button here. Makes it a hundred over the forty dollars straddle. John George is in with his queen jack. Very well He's in a state yeah, of domination like or being state. dominated. That uh, John George, that is. Brave man. All right, we're going forward to the flop. I'm just gonna say, imagine an ace on this flop, and Rory is gonna, you know, it'll pair Rory, but he's got a four, and he's up against three opponents. Pretty dry ace high flop. This is not a situation where a hand like ace four is gonna be able to take three streets of pressure or bet more than two streets typically. So Rory checks. And Jacob yeah. continues his story. Mm -hmm. He was the one, one to raise it pre-flop. Like, oh, need Jacob needs a lot of help here, though. He needs the back door a straight or run a runner, two pair or trips to beat Rory. Well, we were on the street. I got two more guys texting me after they make the same thing. That's for a block to break this record. Oh, it was a lock at halftime. That's better. Rory improves. Important card for Rory there. And Jacob. Looks like he's going to fire again. Jacob undeterred. Assembling chips for a bet. He's betting about three and a quarter. I think so. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, 375. And yeah, Rory's just got a nice bluff catcher here. I don't think we see Rory do, unless he is going to very specifically put Jacob on a strong ace. I think most of the time we're going to see a call here. But again, Rory did just hit two pair. If he didn't hit the two pair, it's going to be an easy call. This is a little bit different. He might consider raising. Looks like a call. They're about to. Tis. I think it's 24 hours too, right? No, uh, I don't know. I got, I got to do my laundry for me. 
Oh yeah, yeah. There's, if there's a descendant, you can type them a little extra. Is that what it is? I don't know. I paid a, it's a dollar seventy-five a pound. Yeah. So you drop it off. Steal to me. You drop it off. When Did we're check yet? I don't get steal. think yeah. so, huh? I am not I, doing my laundry. I should do that. I hate folding laundry. It would be interesting to see if Jacob no. just Snapchats that, this river. I mean, We've like, seen it a couple times. Right? Yeah. 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 Just like a complete oh, shutdown. Yeah, it looks like Rory is going to uh, not risk Jacob had, checking uh, and he's going to bet out. 14.5 pounds. Eight, just in case he has something like yeah, face jack. Case. Family, so and Jacob, yep, snap I'm folds. <laughs> I do not want to do laundry. I'm staying at a hotel. Yeah, you hotel know what? Based on a couple of that, that's a really good uh, bet by Rory Lundry on the river right. leading out there because if Rory's been paying attention, okay, so, like, there has uh, been multiple times tonight that we saw Jacob snap check a pretty strong one pair hand on the river that I think a good amount of other players would have thought about betting. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good bet by Rory there to uh, identify yeah, that uh, he's taking on a lot of risk there with what he assumes to be the best hand if he checks to Jacob there. Yeah. Out for 50. No, no. Jacob had nothing there. So the question still remains, though, would he have actually fired that one? But I think Rory's recognition to lead was but really But you, you pointed out, though, there <laughs> were times where he was kind of bluffing and then just decided he'd already invested enough money and didn't want to do any any more damage to a stack and just shut it down. Yeah. But when you, but I think, you know, usually when you do that, you get to that point and you have nothing, that's when it's kind of a mandatory bet, right? Yeah, exactly. Unless you think you got some showdown. King high, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. If you have showdown value, that's different. Yeah. Yeah. Like it right there. Thank you. chug it. That there's mm -hmm. Sir Pogs. Sir Pogs a lot on Twitch. King King three times or Ace Queen eight times. What do you think, Rude? King King three times or Ace Queen eight times? Yep. King King all day. King King three times? Upped it, mm -hmm. up, upped it a little bit. I like that. King King three times or Ace Queen eight eight times. I think I will. King of the Kings. For some reason, I feel like I want Kings this time. Yeah, I think I want kings this time. It's close. <laughs> so thinking about that, what was the other example? It was ace queen versus aces twice, ace queen nine times, right? Yeah, you said nine times for ace queen, and so now we dropped it down to ace queen eight times and kings three times, and now I'm kind of sliding a little bit towards kings because I was ace queen that nine times. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So Pog's really identifying that line pretty well. Oh yeah. on the turn. Fuck no, I can't hide. <laughs> so we still got some hands left for you tonight, everyone. It has been a very, very action-packed stream. Lots of big hands, lots of ace-queens. Seen aces a few times, some kings a few times. <laughs> If you're enjoying the stream, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Check out our highlights. If you missed a lot of the stream and you might just be passing through or tuning in, we will cut up the highlights. We'll put them on YouTube for you. You can watch them at any time. Everyone hanging out with us on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Hope you're having a good night. Come visit us at Rounders this coming Thursday. We're going to have a uh, another stream, one-two stream, match the stack. That game can get pretty big. But it also allows for a variety of players who maybe wouldn't want to play a 5-5 game like this. Get a chance to play on stream, splash around with us a bit. Thursday night, we also have the debut of the $300 20K Guaranteed Double Trouble tournament where if you bust out of it, you can re-enter for free as long as we're not in the money yet. It's a new tournament. I think that's going to be very fun. I'm excited to uh, see the tournament turn out and how everybody likes that. Yep, and then the Saturday Splash, that $40,000 guarantee. Yep. That one is going to be running. Yep, this Saturday. So satellites, we got free roll satellites <laughs> starting on Friday, 2 o'clock, Saturday, 1 o'clock. Come play the free roll satellites. Try to win your $400 buy-in for the Saturday Splash. $300 buy-in for the Saturday Splash. But let's at least like gamble and have fun. Don't be an airy no, no, there's, there's no fun on that table. Come later. 
Well, I came out had four stars last night. Well, I've definitely had the most fun over ever play tomorrow. I don't know if it's full. Are you running tomorrow? Yeah, I won't get a chance to him anyway. Well, I, I don't know if it's ever full, but some people are always traveling. I don't know whoever. You will see. Just say. Chaz thinking. Oh, I heard. Does he want to raise oh, here oh, or oh, just call? Let's we'll see. What's we, we got to bet? Three hundred into about seven fifty. Chaz got the flush draw. I think he's gonna call. I'll be here anyway. I'll be here anyway. Oh, oh no, he's all in. in. <laughs> Gosh, these guys are beasts, man. Sorry, I'll be here. That's some reads there. He's got the flush draw. He wants to gamble, right? He wants to get it in there. Yuchan with not too much to call. Do you have a seat tomorrow? Yuchan runs again. I do not run the game. Yeah. Sorry, just say no. I don't give the guy out. It's really game. We don't have we don't have a seat at start, but but I can I can get you on the list. And sometimes there's sometimes there's no shows. Sure, like I'll, this, I'll, this I'll be here regardless at some point. Okay, uh, yeah, again, that, that that right, I mean that that helps. Looks like Jay Wong yeah, is getting himself invited to a like game, to another so game. He yeah, enjoyed like, playing with him. I, 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 I enjoyed watching him. I enjoyed watching him. So I'll be here. So if the seat opens, I'll play. The game starts at four. So like be here around that area. I'm around that. I'll go drinking first, and I'll come here. Yeah, I got quiet there. I was like, "Yuchan talking." We're gonna give him the stage. Gotta give him the stage. Yes, it's been very fun. We had a. We have had. We got a few more hands left tonight. But very fun line. Up. Oh. I really enjoyed watching uh, uh, <laughs> Jay Wan's style. <laughs> it's, it's tough. Yeah, it's Not yeah. super tight pre flop, a little you bit more on the tight harder? side, but yeah. with a you very aggressive you know, post flop nature, which I don't yeah. think <laughs> is a common <laughs> strategy. Like I do think it, so that uh, a lot like of players will categorize and identify players based off their pre flop style. Right, right. That it, and it will typically transfer into their post flop style. But we're seeing a nice mix from uh, J1, which I think is awesome, actually. I think that's uh, quite a good strategy. You know how to execute it, and you can pull the trigger post-flop, and you know how to play pre-flop, kind of the spot you put yourself in. Well, this is an interesting hand. He's up against Queens right now, and this is the kind of board that I identified earlier that he likes to kind of lead out at. Mm -hmm. He's paired boards. John George wants to keep him on the hook, just calls it Queens. King of Hearts. It's going to slow down things a little bit for John George. John doesn't love that king, but he does like that uh, J1 checked. I forget to break the record. When is history? You want to break the record? This pot is not as big as it might have been, but yeah, I think uh, J1's just kind of. Might call a small bet with the ace high. He does. John George bets that pot. <laughs> <laughs> I really th the way that he put the he mucked those cards. I, he expected it to be good there, didn't he? Yeah, or at least he thought chopping. John George was uh, was bluffing. Yeah, I, th I think uh, he thought they were just going to be chopping. Yeah, or well, yeah, I think I th maybe who knows? I, I really think he expected to get at least some of the pot for sure. Yeah, yeah, because it was a double paired board and a king, right? <laughs> yeah, but he had an ace. So I think he thought that that ace was going to be key. <laughs> How did uh, uh, Ron end up last night? In the when I left, um, she gave Joy another 20. Oh. Huh? You gave what? How much? I think Joy another 20 when I left. Joy did for 25 or 30. You mean like loaned left. him, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. Moving to our final few hands here, oh, we could see the points. scoreboard. The Big Daddy yeah, Chaz doing what he does. Up, up 8,100. Um, John George also with a nice profitable so, night. I, be I believe Ronda was in for a like few players, about half our players, I believe, in the like green here. 30 maybe? I think there was a point. Bob was, was like, Bob was Bob won like 25. Yeah, Bob fucking killed it. He fucked me late. Dude. John George raises with the sevens. Yeah. Gets three bet by Yuchan on the button with the ace five offsuit. <laughs> three folds. Four folds. Winning a lot of pots. Five folds. <laughs> Nine calls. Chaz goes back to his ice cream. His goblin of ice cream. I don't think John George is going to be folding here. Does not. Makes the call. Still ahead. Yuchan has paired his five. <laughs> it was fun last night. 
Looks like he's going to continue to tell the story. Uchan could still have aces and kings. Ace queen here, a lot of strong hands since he did re raise pre flop. John George is not going to let it go yet. He does call with the best hand. How'd you do? Me? Yeah. Plus 98. Dollars? Dollars. Oh. <laughs> Open Andrew. For John now. Joy, Joy, with a big loser box. Pair of sevens. Can I get some Joey or? I don't know. Sure. Probably. We were playing PLO 5 today. All right, so John George is going to end with the best hand. The question is, is Yu Chang going to put him in a spot or think that he has enough showdown with his five? Yeah. Um, and then, uh, he's waving the flag. Yu Chang's waving the flag, and he's going to lose to the sevens. Check, check. Show seven. It is. No, that was the break. It was two to break it. That's the record. Yeah, two to break. Two to break it. Now you just broke it right yep. down the foul line. Jumper, on his, on his jumper. Seven's no good foul against the. Oh, sorry. Five's no good against the sevens. All right, this is my hand. What are you guys What's up there, Forrest? How's it going tonight? Ball Forrest ball. Diaz hanging out with us in the chat. I mean, I'm down to play one. A frozen PLO strawberry mark for your boy BDC, yeah. huh? One uh, your boy BDC here, Big Daddy Chaz, is on tequila shot. Somewhere in between three and five, I think, along with the rest of the table, some drinks. They've been getting it in tonight. There might be some tequila in that in that ice cream he's eating too. One hand to PLO. Are we going straight to the block or we playing PLO? Playing PLO. Are you guys battling? Oh no, I thought we're doing it. All right, so looks like we're going to finish up tonight's stream with a PLO hand. Oh, no bomb pot. They're talking about it now. I thought we were going to do. Fuck it, I don't. We don't have to do that. Okay, no more PLO. Normal PLO one. Normal PLO. Normal PLO. No bomb I can, pot. I can process this. This is okay. cool. I'm looking forward Let's to in the future. That number. In the future when we do a PLO stream, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, Me too. It's going to be four card. Four card PLO. Four card mm -hmm. PLO. I'm looking forward to it. Rory, we're playing a PLO hand. I know, you're in. Oh, oh, fucking 2K or what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a PLO, it's an actual PLO hand. Yeah, just a normal PLO hand. Ooh. I hope I get to say the word. Uh, All right. I will fold. leave that word. Fold. Jacob fold. folds. Fold. Fold. <laughs> no, that's nice nice a deuce. <laughs> I said quarter blind. Uh, no, whatever. 20. 20. Yeah. 20 yeah. Okay. Nine. Nine folds. Gosh. Six of spades in the mug. I went three miles. I'm going to get my fucking. I'm going to get a fucking ball. Blind. Okay. Do you want to raise it to 20? Chaz has a uh, single suit. We've got aces single suited. Clubs. Bobby's in there with the tens. Bobby's got tens and four suited ten. That's about it. Four deuce. All right, so. Uh, Partial rundown for G1. Nice or J1, spot. rather. Three bills in the middle. All right, who hit? So we got spades for for Bobby, but uh, partial wrap for G J1. Or really just open-ended for a pair of jacks. Oh, did he get it or what? Huh? Yeah, he just broke it. It's not the best flush draw here. No, for, not, not for at all. For Bobby, not in PLO. Yeah, yeah, You're not going to feel too comfortable with that. Yeah, yeah. they like yeah. 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 the top Chaz bets his aces. And uh, this is PLO. PLO is an interesting game. We'll have to uh, dig into that more in uh, future streams. But yeah. one of the big things you do not want to get yourself into a dominant situation with like a 10 high flush there. Even right. if you hit your hand, it's different than hold them because there's so many more cards out there. Your opponent can have better flushes, but we'll talk about that later tonight. Big night here at Rounders Card Club. Big Daddy Chaz, 8,300 in profit. John George, 7,700 in profit. Jacob, 1,600 in profit. 
And then uh, behind them, we have Jesse and Bobby eking out a profit. A uh, bit under a thousand. Uh, did not work out, even though Jay Wan, I think, played great today. Yep, he was uh, active. Ended up down 1,400. Rory also played great today. Uh, and this is the way poker goes. You know, down 3K, and then Yuchan just got into a bunch of cooler situations, basically, versus Chaz. And two, two big ones versus Chaz, mm, yeah. actually. 10K pots pre-flop. So, uh, yeah, he was in for at least 5K in those situations. And, again, if we go back and watch this entire stream, everyone here played pretty well. Yep. And uh, nobody was in the single digits for V-Pips. Bobby was one of our tighter players tonight, but he also did get mixed up in some spots, making some big calls, trying to make some things happen. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. It's true. There were some spots that he could have, uh, you know, mixed it up and chosen to uh, participate in a little bit more. But, you know, yeah, he was he – was, Who's in there? Well, I'm not good at the rating. I'm like a. How did that guy come in? I'm like 400. What's your rating? I don't have a rating. Are you putting it in? Or I probably do. It's just. One more I'm time like tonight, everybody. We have the 2023 Poker Masters coming up here at Rounders Card Club. That is going to start next Wednesday, the 15th, the day one flights. $400 buy in, 30 minute levels on day one, 40 minute levels on day two. Day two is on Sunday the 19th, oh, and day three, the streamed final table starts at 5 o'clock Texas time, 6 o'clock East Coast time, President's Day the 20th. We will be streaming that here for you. So if you're coming out, you're in the area, you're going to play this tournament, then uh, this is the dates you need to block off. And leading up to this tournament, we're going to have some satellites, some free roll satellites, so you can come and try to uh, spin up your 12,000 chips you get for free. All you got to do is play, pay the yeah. club access fee to get into those free rolls. But this is a big tournament we got coming up. And this Thursday, we got the $300 20K double trouble. Double trouble. You get two free entries into it. Basically, you buy in for your 300 If you bust out, you get to re-enter for free. There are no add-ons in this tournament. Uh, so you don't have to feel like you're at a disadvantage once late reg is over and somebody could just add on and buy chips but you were there the whole time trying to earn those chips so i think this thursday's double trouble is an incredible tournament and the best tournament that's going to be going on thursdays here in san antonio and lastly this coming saturday we have the 300 dollars saturday splash saturday splash baby another new tournament with increased time levels in the blinds to give you more time to navigate the tournament but these are all great tournaments and they're all going to count towards your hand and mob. So th that is great. Nice. And Upset. yeah. So Mario. Rude, what yeah. do you think? Well, well, how was uh, your night? With that, yeah, this is a great night. Uh, you, you said it all. You wrapped it up. Uh, that's going to bring an end to our Tuesday night 5-5 five -five game. There we see the big, the, well, all the winnings. The, the toughest night uh, was had by Yu Chong. We see him there at the bottom. Biggest winners there at the, ch at the top. Big Daddy Chaz and John. And we had uh, a lot of action. We had some battles. We had some straddles. We had shots. We had, <laughs> we had ice cream. We had, had a good time. Straddle battles and ice cream. What more could you want? <laughs> Everyone, if you enjoyed the stream, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Smash the like. We appreciate your company. And until next time, we'll see you Thursday, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, for our 1-2 Thursday Thriller, a match the stack game that will get crazy. For everyone here on the Rounders Tonight team, everyone at Rounders Card Club, we appreciate you hanging out. My name is Drew, a.k.a. Bet on Drew. My man, Rudy, joining me on the comms tonight. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night, everyone.